<laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not used to being the one to threaten the group. I'm used to getting that from Sam. Um, so, uh, good evening and welcome back to Los Angeles 2119 Super Punks. It's time for some Callisto 6. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Hi. Um, we don't have Aliza tonight because Aliza... <sighs> so, Aliza, unfortunately, while trying to figure out how to spend her XP, literally triggered her time ability, and, <laughs> and we get her back, <laughs> whenever the hell that's going to be. Anyway, so if Doctor Lisa is looking Dr. at this Ghost. from a historical document point of view, just remember that this was the day we were really annoyed with you for jumping through time. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's going on. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to give a couple of uh, announcements. Uh, the first one is, is that Callisto 6 is bringing back the fan art reels. Yay! Um, yeah. You guys have been starting to shell those out um, again, so we are getting them in. Uh, just so you guys know, the email address to send it to is Callisto, the number six, Callisto6fanart at gmail.com. And what we're thinking about doing is curating all of them and then launching it as a big fan art reel, maybe at the end of the season. Mm. We might do it a little bit later in the season. We're not sure how we're going to do it just yet. It just depends on how much fan art we get. Um, and uh, right now we're getting quite a bit. <laughs> so that's good news. Um, so yeah, just send, if you guys feel the inspiration, just send that stuff in. Because man, it is amazing seeing what you guys do. It's incredible. It's so um, good. I'm just going to give a shout out. Uh, Fix his butt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give a shout out to Caitlin. <laughs> KK is it Amber? Is that I, I was I'm just so used to seeing her Twitter. Amber. What is it? K Camber. K Camber. That's what it is. It's K K Amber. Um, I'm like uh, K comma B R. That's a dumb way to say that. K Camber is <laughs> way better. <laughs> yeah, if you get a chance, check out the animatic uh, that she did. It's it's brilliant. Um so um, that's first order of business. Second order of business, uh, just a real quick aside. Um, I, it's been a while since I've done this. I've been wanting to do it for a while again, but I just want to give a quick shout out in all of our love to the creator of our fan discord who's been with us since, uh, since Shield of Tomorrow, who's like helmed the Ox crew, Moon's Rain. Um, I, Moon's Rain uh, has stepped down as the overlord of the, uh, of the discord and gave that to Az, God help us all. And, uh, <laughs> and now, um, uh, we just wanted to continue to send our love and thanks to Moon's Rain for everything she the, the, she's doing for all of us and for helming the community. We really appreciate it. But there's still the um, overlord of our heart. Yes. <laughs> um, also, another shout out to Dogmite Games who made this freaking rad GM screen so that I am going to very carefully hold up now because it is so <gasps> awesome. We can see behind it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> Was that a logo? Did we just get, did we just get sued? No. Nope. Nope. No. Out of no? No. <laughs> it was just art. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, Dogmite. Um, a couple more shout outs. Uh, next one, of course, to our sponsors who made season two Yay. what it is. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to start by saying a big thank you to Okie Dokie Dice. Thank you so yes. much for sponsoring season two of Plisto 6 dice and for giving ASMR. us all of the delicious dice. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's quite tasty. Um, like yes, yeah, so Okie Dokie Dice are available in all markets except Oops. North America, but that's going to be launching at the end of March, so that's coming up. Um, they've got all the different types of dice styles um, that you could need. Um, you can find them at okidokidice.com and at okidokidice on all the social media platform, platforms, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and of course, a big shout out to our beloved friends and, and uh, creators of the Cypher System, Monty Cook Games. Um, thank you so Woo! much. I was so excited when I found out they were sponsoring the season two. Um, they sent me uh, oh, so Secrets <laughs> of the Silent Streets. This is for Invisible Sun, Ooh. which is their big experimental, beautiful RPG that they put out. Um, and uh, I'll have more information about this in a second, but I just wanted to, to share this book real quick. Um, I, I, can't, I can't emphasize enough how just ethereally beautiful, beautiful Ooh, this wow. game is. It is so damn pretty, if you can even hear me talking because I'm practically speaking into the book. But <laughs> I'm really excited to get into this. But um, yeah, so thank you, of course, Monty Cook Games. Um, the Cypher System Rulebook. This is some big news for anybody who wants to try out the Cypher System Rulebook. Um, if you've ever been wanting to try Cypher System, you've been seeing us play it. Um, Cypher System is, of course, a system that has been released and has a basic lady for a, pretty much any genre that you could think of running. Mm -hmm. um, it's super flexible. It was what allowed us to build this RPG when Sam and I put this game together. Um, so uh, Any the, genre, really? What if I wanted to do post-apocalyptic? It's in there. What? What if I wanted to do post apocalyptic, hard sci fi? What about, what about Western? 
Yep. Yep. West yeah. in there. Yeah. Western Not only is West in there, but it covers <laughs> all the. It, it gives you. It gives you pointers on how to play every historical setting from okay. the Edo period okay. of Japan. Okay. Do right. more. Do I'll throw more. here's a real curveball at you. What about if there's one where I wanted to have dinosaurs? Oh, well, no predation already exists. What? Is one of my Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> you like Dino Riders? Holy hell, predation! God, I love Dino Riders. Yeah. That's already a thing in the Cipher system. Yes. Well, I don't have any other genres. Uh, <laughs> fun Those fact: Callisto Six was almost predation. It was what? Almost a predation campaign. Cool. <laughs> because we freaking love that game, and I'm gonna run it one day. Um, so uh, definitely check it out. The Cipher System Rulebook. It's 416 pages of goodness. Wow. Um, it gives you everything you need for equipment, game rules, uh, key uh, genres, uh, creatures, NPCs, and of course, ciphers. Um, and you can build your own worlds. Um, the, a lot of the games that they've created are like Predation and God's Fall, uh, Gods of the Fall, and uh, Amassed. Um, why are y'all laughing? I'm doing my best over here. Um, <laughs> so uh, are we. <laughs> so the big news that I'm trying to get to is that uh, if you go to uh, mymcg.info backslash superpunks, <laughs> you can get the Cypher System rulebook in print for 50% off. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Whoa. Um, it's only for Friday and Saturday. It ends on Sunday. Oh my so God. <laughs> if you guys want 50% off of this beautiful book, um, definitely... Definitely check it out. So one more time, and I'm sure the, the graphic's coming up, and if, just in case, um, it's mymcg.info backslash superpunks. 50% off the core book in print for uh, the Cypher system at Monty Cook Games. So I already you. have it, and I want to buy one. Yeah, it's, um, like just, it's like the chocolate for Valentine's uh -huh. Day that's half off, but it's the Cypher system, which is almost as good as chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to throw this in there. This is a rad supplement it's followed so up with. Expanded Worlds is a rad. It is good. It's so good. It has the hard sci-fi setting in it. Oh, mm -hmm. You want to play a Battlestar Galactica mm -hmm. game and uh, you want to, you just want to make an easy narrative Stuff system. Quick, okay. Anyway, <clears throat> all right. Those are all, what, Sam? What? I'm excited. Uh, so there it is. All right. Um, I think without any further ado, folks, it's time to get into tonight's episode of Callisto 6. <laughs> Damages are still being assessed, but thanks to eyewitnesses, the identity of the heroes may soon be known. After a deadly fight in the city and a terrifying plummet to the streets below, the Callisto Six were able to subdue Dr. Jerome Blair and neutralize his rescuers. LAPD believe that the driver of the rescue vehicle may still be at large. Thanks to the fast actions of her teammates, Lindy Hops was pulled away from the clutches of death after receiving medical attention. After their harrowing brush with mortality, the team used the time they had to recover and confess some of the experiences they have all been having since the infusion of the Callisto energy that fateful night. Now in the midst of their respite at Blue Dolphin Base, the heroes use these precious hours to collect themselves and prepare for the storm that stirs on the horizon. A confrontation with Fletcher Kraus, the team's shadowy arch nemesis, appears inevitable. I'm Hakeem Sophia. Rest easy, Los Angeles. <laughs> and welcome back. Um, we're gonna start tonight's game. Um, a group, let's see, we left off at Blue Dolphin Base, so we're gonna start tonight with duffel bags being packed full of whatever you guys need as you head out of Blue Dolphin Base, um, headed back towards Raft City. So right now, moving up the elevator ramp is Luma and Lacey with a few of their belongings. Um, it's been, we'll say it's been about 24 hours since we last left off. And everyone has managed to take a deep breath. Um, you guys have had some time to collect yourselves and 
decompress from not only just the emotional drama of the past 48 hours, but also kind of absorb some of the revelations as everyone seemed to start opening up about experiences that they were having that they had not let anybody know about. Um, big revelations coming from Oya about her visions and issues with time. <laughs> um, uh, pretty much all of it sparked by the fact that Hops was concealing the fact that she was not sleeping. I feel um, great now. I, say, <laughs> I just want to know. I want everyone to know. I woke up, cooked everyone breakfast. I was in the kitchen. I what was did dancing you make? around. This is all a dream that you're having. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I did the thing. No, no. I'm going with what Eric said. <laughs> this is all a dream you're I having. Because if the you've rain. ever gone without sleep for a while and then you finally get a good night's rest, when you wake up, you feel like death. <laughs> okay, but I also am an, a, a living battery, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to be a very vibrant person that feels like death. Okay. <laughs> um, so I um, dreamt I made you breakfast. You're welcome. Um, so quick question. You're going to be shuttling back to Raph City. Mm -hmm. um, the only vehicle that can get you there, of course, mm -hmm. is Amelia. Mm -hmm. So that leaves the people at Callisto Base and, and Blue Dolphin. Are you going to be shuttling Amelia back? What do you have? Are you going to have somebody fly you and drop you off in Raph City? There's one car, essentially. Yeah, mm. there there is one car. Um, but uh, what I could do is uh, spend the time with Amelia, because we have 24 hours, and uh, that is the amount of time it takes uh, for me to initiate a machine bond. Oh, OK. What's yeah. a machine bond? Um, that's a new ability that I got. Would you like to announce what tier you are now? <laughs> <laughs> Three? I started uh, about halfway through tier two uh, and a couple advances, a couple of XP in. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got about six more so uh, over the course of the Lacey game. Is now yeah. Tier three. yeah, so Ooh, now y'all, Lacey, so what, this is going to be great for the team because it means at a tier three, Lacey's going to be able to craft some pretty rad stuff for you guys. Um, I, I so know, okay. excited. Go ahead and They've tell me. They've been amazing what, this whole time. Yeah. What's, uh, um, what is your machine so bond do? I can, or no, I'm sorry, it's not machine bond. I got that wrong, it's ship speak. I can make basic planet, ma I can make basic maneuvers from a planetary distance with a ship that I've bonded with. From I a what distance? <laughs> what? Where, well. What the what? Listen, planetary. We, listen, we've only been on this planet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when is that gonna come into play? Wow, the moon base is gonna be surprised. Uh, uh, messages uh, from Lacey. It's like, wait a minute. What? Autopilot Funny? to the moon? You should mention that. I thought this was This uh, is in fact uh, directed at, at starships, so. Uh, I cut you off partway through because I was excited. Please continue. Yes, me too. Oh, yeah. Me too, me too. Um, I can send it to a designated place, call it to me, have it land, allow or deny entrance, and so on, even if I'm not on board. It's a process that requires 24 hours of meditation while jacked into the ship. Okay. So we'll say that for the past 24 hours, um, after conferring with uh, Luma, Lacey, you made your way back up the elevator and sat plugged in, essentially mentally plugged in to Amelia learning her systems and how she maneuvers and whatnot. I mean, you really got a good feel for how this ship handles when you were piloting like the Thunder. But that was under stress, and we need to have a relationship that's not based in stress. That's a fair assessment. I don't understand. Just... <laughs> well, what does that look is... like? <laughs> Stressful. Also, just you meditated a... for 24 uh, hours. Uh, above game, I need to, I need an overhaul because I fear that when I go to tier three, it's going to be like, Anton can stretch more. Like, that's not cool as that. That is amazing. I mean, in truth, I mean, in truth. Stretch planetary. Planetary. <laughs> no. Galactus is like, whoa. Okay. whoa. Like, let's not make the moon a little closer. Uh. So, Hector, to give you an idea, like, you have already been really clever at using uh, flavored abilities in Cypher to... Right. For example, your ability to influence people through sheer charm, and, and that is normally a special power. That's you true. can use it to actually, what is it, enhance somebody's, or revise somebody's memory? Yes. And make them, <laughs> you can basically, I mean, it's, it's let's, I mean, it's, it's a nasty phrase, but let's be honest, it's, it's, you can essentially gaslight somebody into believing whatever yeah. the hell you want them to believe. Brain, I like brainwashing. That's brainwashing more sci-fi. another way of saying it, yes. Gaslighting's um, too real. <laughs> but, um, think about Anton using the powers for good, though. Uh-huh. No, you didn't see us walk through this lobby. We're the we're the bad guys, just like you. Mm -hmm. 
So a Jedi mind trick. Not, yeah. not brainwashing. You turned your yeah. whole body into a shield like a day <laughs> ago. Yeah. It's true. So I, to, to, you so have this will give us a glimpse of what we can do with Cypher System. Yeah. So this is another example of like being able to play around with a lot of the powers that are presented in Cypher to plug into a thematic uh, uh, flavor for your character. So for example, right now you're a stretchy guy. We've already enhanced your durability. Something that Anton might be able to do eventually is density control. That's true. Where yeah. you could literally, you know, where you might become as strong as Cass in a fight because you can control the density of your body. We'll or, see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Or I, I might mean, just get sillier. You, we don't know what's gonna happen. It also means you might become the next <laughs> shadow cat, Miss, Mr. Fantastic. I mean, I, I mean, conceivably, you can wander off your track too if you wanna keep playing, because we, mm. we can talk about that. But just to answer the question, there's no reason, but if we ever make it to tier six, there's no reason you couldn't be super scroll. I mean, you we can play around with it. You mm. survived a plasma bolt in your butt. I, I mean, like you right were in like, the, right I, in I, I, that's right that in is powerful. Hole. I don't think I could have made it. I would. But I just love that Lacey's already at the planetary level. <laughs> tier three, man. Cool. Tier three superheroes. I gotta yeah. look that up. I know we tier gotta, three. We gotta so get in Cypher, the way I like to phrase it is when you hear tier three, you've you've hit Avenger level powers. Mm -hmm. Like tier three is when you're tipping into, you are now like, mm -hmm. you're now like a rookie in the Avengers, essentially. It, you are it, in all, in all fairness, cool stuff. because my focus is mutates, who, mm -hmm. who mutates, and we've been kind of, kind of rejiggering that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, tier three of mutates is super rad. I looked ahead and there's a bunch of cool stuff that I'm going to yeah. be able to get, but it's, you know. Tier, I tier just three is like top. level 10 in D&D. You've and, uh, really hit some power. <laughs> um, I guess I should hold on to these, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I should hold on to this, huh? Um, we'll uh, see. Hey, Do you use some things? I'm just, yeah, I was just going to say, like. <laughs> you, want, you, want, you want one? No, no, I got some. <laughs> this is like a, you. It's like, it's like a homebrew Monopoly game where you're just like, I'm just going to give my son Thirty dollars and you're not like, allowed to be the banker. Yeah, the yeah. brother's like, you can't do that, <laughs> mom. You can't do that. Well, I just want to give him fifty dollars. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Here's an XP. Here, I swear we're, we're, we're playing the game. Tonight, I don't I swear we're playing it. Yeah. It's fine. So yeah. I'll return this is my time. Mom, you're not playing Monopoly but right. But it's to complete the set. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start. You need that railroad. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, it was the missing glue. You didn't know, but it was true. Sorry, Eric. Uh, so no, it's okay. It's 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 Friday night's our game night, guys. So, so I can shuttle. So you can uh, shuttle, and we're gonna start with mm. actually we're gonna go. And ahead while and I'm shuttling, I could do other things conceivably, like the thing that we talked about. It's just I have to spend the 24 hours first. Okay. Um, the thing that you talked about. Well, how many are you making? Uh, as many as I can make in that time. Muffins. I'm gonna yes. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna say realistically, I'd say about two. Okay. Um, uh, what's the difference so, on that? So, um, but right now we're gonna go ahead and jump to, totally. just to just to get things rolling now, because we've eaten into our time. I'm gonna just jump to uh, Amelia dropping you all off just outside of Raft City. Mm -hmm. um, Field trip. Now, one of the things we're also, and I'm just going to assume because this is a real minor narrative thing, but we all know that Lacey could pull this off, is that you have repaired Amelia's windshield. Um, Thank you. There has been. Um, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've managed to using force field technology, and of course, you've been able to uh, essentially manufacture an armor plate that goes over that. You don't have a proper window piece to actually fit it in there just yet. But now that you're above water, or when you bring Amelia back, you can repair that easy. You've got plenty of those parts waiting for you at your machine yep, shop. Tools. Um, however, um, when you arrive on the surface the next day, as y'all have touched down in Raft City, um, it's tw it's kind of closer to the evening now, and it is raining. Um, just like it is in LA right now. Um, the only difference is a bit of a thunderstorm. Um, so the stars are completely invisible and there's this sort of haze that you can see uh, clouding, get, creating this like ghostly fog around all of downtown Los Angeles. Um, now, Raft City um, is built to be prepared for any kind of weather event, especially because when rain picks up or anything like this blows in, wave action increases. So. Rav City actually has plenty of cover for people to walk on the docks. Um, it does not shut down business, and it does not slow anybody down at all. Um, a lot of the over, I would say a lot of the, uh, the, the force field awnings have activated. So they're these, basically these simple metal poles that come out on the sides of the docks, and they release sort of this T-shaped metal uh, prong that comes out and activates uh, these very beautiful uh, blue luminous uh, force fields that both light up the docks and the walking areas and shield people from the rain. And they make these delightful little splashing sounds. So when it rains in Raft City, water splashing off the top of these literally looks like little bitty blue fireflies just popping all over the place, all over the top. And it creates something of a light show. Um, 
And uh, the wave action, of course, is being decreased by a lot of the tech that they have built in underneath to keep the boats and other platforms stable. Um, so as y'all are approaching Raft City, um, as Amelia's touched down, you kind of, the, the, the ramp just and you see the rain smattering, people still standing in line for funnel cakes. <laughs> um, and you see the brilliant lights of the, of the city that you grew up in, Luma, um, just waiting for you. It's about maybe 400 feet away to the entrance of the, of the city itself. Ready to go home? I'm so ready. Are you? I think I'm probably missed a little. Like what? What do you mean? Like what have you missed? Was no, like, that we're like missing? I'm missed. Like like they miss me. <laughs> that. Sorry. <laughs> I think you I missed, missed that. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone take one point of intellect damage from cuteness. Yep. Uh, we will gain one. Thank we will you. gain you one. <laughs> Cute vampires. But for real? No. Okay. No. <laughs> <But> <laughs> you got one. I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, oh no, I'm having flashbacks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're going. Okay. I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Shink. <laughs> Thank <Like> you. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, it is a mad dash towards the areas of the, the like, sort of the, the sides of the docks where the shields are up. You want to hop on my fellow balloon? Um, <laughs> Lacey's a blue blur of light as their chair is just kind of illuminating the, the area around y'all as you're kind of rushing behind them and you finally get underneath the force field. Um, there's a lot of people walking out. Um, people move out of sight as y'all enter into the force field area, this wide walkway. It's probably wide enough for four people to walk side by side. What time of day is it? Um, I would say it's close to 6.30 p.m. Oh, everyone's home. About 6.30. Okay. Well, mostly everyone. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think they're gonna be mad. Let's not think about it. Let's just run. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, as Luma jogs next to you, Lacey, you just kind of watch her <laughs> as y'all move down the docks. Um, people getting out of your way. Uh, Good. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, reaching Raft City, um, the place looks exactly like you left it, but you are seeing some new notices. Uh. The tagging around here is part street art like you've yeah. created and what, but you've also seen a lot of these digital notices that are popped up, which are essentially like, think of them as also further using the force field technology. A lot of these are like metal prongs. Instead of stapling signs to mm -hmm. wooden poles, there are these prongs that people can place that just activate a digital screen that can be cycled through. And you see a lot of, of these digital things as y'all are moving past, a lot of them have changed and you see people um, a lot of it is about just the, the general information you're getting as you're walking by. Big, large quotes from city mayor, um, uh, also city council about the future of Raft City. You see uh, people talking about, apparently, the gist that you're getting from Which it mayor? as y'all are walking by. Um, the mayor of Los Angeles. Got it. Um, who, is, who, apparently, who is apparently taking an interest in supporting Raft City. Um, really? Mm hmm And what you're noticing, the gist that you're getting as you're walking by is apparently the cargo vessel that was to be turned into City Hall. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's going to be put up to a vote to the citizens of Raft City to what to do with it. Suck it, Terrence. Oh. And this is new information. Yeah. Um, okay. This There's a lot of, you see a lot of posters as you're moving past, moving past all these people that are trying to squeeze in, keep out of the rain. Um, a lot of these posters, mm -hmm. there's people There's people talking about turning it into living apartment quarters. There's people, there's a lot of conversations going on, apparently, on message boards. Because um, as you're walking by, the digital inputs in your, in your bands are starting to activate, and you're seeing, like, quotes popping up from the news as you're watching this. Um, little, little, like, They're figments. They're activating my... Mm -hmm. It's, it's just like a... Invasive. It's, it's a standard setting. You can always turn it off, but like as you're walking past, it's, it's like, yes. yeah, 
It's like little pop-ups <laughs> where you're seeing, like, if you see a piece of information and you're interested and you focus on it, your eyes register yeah. it immediately and goes, blink, and gives you more information about what you're looking at. And you're seeing a lot of these conversations. Lacey, you're seeing it, too, <sighs> um, with your it's normalized. Turning. <laughs> um, every time I look at one, ah, it turned my mask off. <laughs> um, I didn't fix it. Yeah. Um, so as you're seeing all the conversations that are popping up, there are people that want to turn it into an apartment complex yeah. for more housing here in Raft City. There are people that think it would help the economy to turn it into essentially a mall or like a place where people can buy seafood or a restaurant place or there's a lot of discussions about happening to a lot of counter discussions about preserving the culture of Raft City, how it would destroy that if more people were allowed in. So there's a bit of a conversation okay. saying no more in Raft City, there's, we need more in Raft City. Noise, 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 as you're walking past everything. So they're taking an interest. Yeah. I don't think I like taking an interest. I don't like when they take an interest. Right. Why can't we take our own interest? Kind of have been. We have been, and then they get noticed. Yeah. <sighs> Be nice to have new people in town, though. Yeah, it would. Remember when they tried to turn the Queen Mary into a mall? Oh. Gross. <laughs> Why are they gross? Because <sighs> there's so much. We have a good neighborhood. Maybe it won't be so bad if more people get to love it. I think it would be good. More people there are, you know? More people who buy my mom's fish. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and they won't know boats, and I'll have to repair them. <laughs> and then you're both shocked out of your conversation as you come across a screen that is replaying over and over and over the image of a transport falling out of the sky with Amelia racing behind it. And then an image of Cass making that leap from what looks like a really shaky cam and bad footage um, but then there's clear footage of what you know to be a mutant soldier of some kind being thrown from the back of a transport and sailing 50 feet through the air, smashing into the windshield of a parked vehicle. Um, Can you believe that was yesterday? And you definitely see a very recognizable um, <clears throat> skull mask. Oh, it's me. Mm -hmm. And a chair. I didn't leave the... Leave Amelia. Um, Neither did I. You've been now. Remember, you've been recorded before, though. Yes. But you had the skull mask on. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is this Why do you is. Think I'm so anxiously turning it off every time I turn <laughs> yeah. it on. I so, can switch the skin uh, if you like. What, It'll probably look bad, but get away at it. So what you're what you're noticing though is a lot of the footage that you're seeing come up on the news. It's yeah. it's reporters putting all the pieces together. You're seeing the tower incident. Yeah. You're seeing the train incident. Yep. I mean, everyone. The, I mean, the conversation for the past 48 hours has been nothing. It was all Measure Z until yesterday. Yeah. Um, I'd like to uh, screen capture that shaky footage of Cass sailing through the air <laughs> to add an image stabilization algorithm to later. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You just look at it, and you're seeing it replay in this talking head going over and over. Hang on to the screen, about, you baby. <laughs> and then snaps a shot, and then... Thank you. I mean, Cass is in full flight. I mean, it looks like you could just attach, like, an image of feathers to the back of their arms. And it I could like do a lot of things. They're, she is literally, like, Olympian-style, like, triple jump. Not, not, not the legs aren't in front, but it's that motion of, like, yeah. full, like, outstretched legs. And... I'm like Neon Cat. <laughs> What's crazy about the image, too, is it's also against the backdrop of the city of Los Angeles and the transport. Um, the angle that it's taken at is almost kind of below. Um, yeah, it's a hell of a thing to see. New profile pig. But you're also seeing. <laughs> you're also kind of seeing. You're also kind of seeing the. Uh, the, the more anxiety-inducing moments of the yeah. tower starting to fall. Yeah. And the the very obvious form of a woman gripping the bottom of the tower lit up like yeah. with hundreds of thousands of volts of electricity flowing through her um, and a man stretching out from the back of a transport and letting people crawl across him like all of these things are quite visible um, yep. Yep. and yeah. it seems to be dominating the airwaves of the news as you walk past that 
Um, but eventually, you do come to the first stop, which is, of course, Loomis Place. Um, you pass one of the rear docks, I think. What dock do you live on? It, it, was it alphabetical? It was like A, B, C, D, E, F, G dock all the way down to, to, down to Z? Was that how we um, arranged it? They have the piers mm -hmm. uh, that are the numbered because there are too many yeah. freaking piers. And right. then uh, for each pier, it's lettered. So you'd right. have like 37A kind okay. of thing if you're like, like 37th and the closest right. to land. So you guys, if I remember correctly, because Lace, you're actually stationed at the very, very last, like the final dock. And Luma, you're... Yeah. Houseboat is actually like three boats away from that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can actually see your home from here, Lacey, as y'all move up to uh, mm -hmm. as, to Luma's boat. Um, Multi-tiered boat. Um, masts mm -hmm. have been removed, of course. Uh, large, it's big enough to, to house a family, as you well know, mm -hmm. and they seem to be uh, quite active because the lights are all on. Um, the glowing lights are all activated yeah. to allow people to walk through and get through the porch. Uh, to the porch. Um, the water, of course, has been stabled using the machines underneath the docks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you can hear your mother shouting at one of the boys. Definitely home. Well, I've got my speech. Do you got yours? I needed a speech! Oh, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know our parents will probably do most of this talking. I hope so. We did last time. They weren't mad at me. Were they mad at you? Um, you know... Love screaming. Uh, but now I'm pretty sure my family recognizes my mask. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wait here until you're at the your front door. Or Are we going together? Yeah, we, together. Together. Okay. 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 All right. I'm going to go to my boat. Well, okay. I'm going to go to her boat. And I had. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Luma, I'm just curious what Luma feels is Lacey leaves her side and starts moving to their own boat. <laughs> um, it always feels nicer when you think someone's next to you and going in with you and together. And, right. Um, I don't even know what this could possibly be waiting for me. <laughs> um, count of three. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. And join us next week for the next episode of Clues. <laughs> uh, Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think, do I knock? Do I, do I warn them? No, just key in the door is usually... The door the swings sound. open oh! with <laughs> your mom saying, I'll take it out. And she freezes and stares at you. Hug. You hug her, and she drops the garbage that's in her left hand. And she puts her arms around you, and there's a soft beat for a second. And then you're being pulled down to the ground because oh. her body weight, her knees give out as she's holding you. You don't hear anything coming out of her mouth for a second until she finally finds her breath and then you hear the choked sob of a mother as she grips you tightly and holds you. And then you hear in the background, you hear, Dad, Luma's home. <laughs> Nice this, to see you too, Marco. Of, of this kid just like shoving spaghetti noodles into his mouth and looking at you from his plate. Like when you say that, he's like, you're busted. And he just puts more spaghetti in his mouth. And at that moment, your dad comes out from the kitchen area of the boat, kind of ducking his head low Go. and looks and goes, Jesus Christ. Hi, Papa. He throws the he throws the towel down and immediately rushes over to you and you are enveloped. No. From the boat perspective, there is no more Luma. You are completely enveloped by two parents that are hugging you. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I kind of thought I wouldn't have eardrums right now. Um, and then you hear your mom say, you're not. And then she keeps squeezing you. She's like, I'm going to yell at you. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, your dad goes, your dad pulls away from you and goes, baby, your mask. We saw your mask on TV. I know, I know, I know. Lacey's gonna fix it. So it was real? Um, was that you? The boys were in trouble. We, we should come inside. Yeah. Um, Y'all move in, the door. One last closes. look out at the door to make sure Lacey got in. You see Lacey. I'm sitting there waiting because I did not go in on the count of three. Um. <laughs> oh. Neither did I, technically. <laughs> um, yeah, the last glance you see of Lacey as the door is about to close is Lacey doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Uh -huh. uh, and the door closes. So we're going to cut to Lacey now. Um, Lacey, that door's about to open. It takes a moment, and then from the other side, you hear Reuben. Who is it? Hi, Daddy. The door is thrown open, and he stares at you and goes, Oh my God! And then he grabs you and says, "Um, baby, may I please lift you?" <laughs> he picks you right up out of the chair and holds you there. And then you hear, "Oh my God, is that my baby? Oh my God, is that my baby? Is that my baby?" And then you see your papa come running down from the back of the boat. You hear the thudding noises. He rushes over. He goes, "Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God!" And he throws his arms around you and says. Where's their chair? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're holding them. Okay. Just making sure you didn't crawl here or something. My God. Oh my gosh, no. Lacey. Hi. Oh my God. And Hi. throws his arms around you. Hi. Okay. Hi. Um, and you are also enveloped and says, Doesn't take much. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and then you hear Papa say, Baby, can, can I just pull your chair in and then we just care? Because we don't want to thank you. Um, he thank you. reaches down and pulls the chair in, and the door closes, and they don't let go of you. They both immediately hold on to you and keep you in a hug. Um, and you remain there for a few moments. That's okay. Back at Luma's place. I've got baby Sophia, and I'm just like annoyingly smushing uh, oh, Marco God. and Luca's face into mine. Marco, so interestingly enough, Lucas, Luca is not here. Luca's not here? Where's Luca? No. Um, and you're, you're kind of asking that is your mom goes, he's over at a friend's place. Luca's got friends? <laughs> and you hear Marco say, that's what I said, as he continues to fork spaghetti into his mouth, smushed up against the side of your face. <laughs> and some of it just kind of brushes against your chin. Um, Smush. <laughs> um, <laughs> and says, Okay. Ask me, just say, just, just say anything, I, I'll, 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 anything. Luma, I just need a minute. Okay. I need a minute. Okay. I'm not going to yell at you. <laughs> the reason why I'm not going to yell at you is because I saw you save these two little punks from a tower that was about to explode. At least I think I saw you. I don't know what I saw, but I know that the people that have been doing the things that they're doing, mm -hmm. you've been running with them because I saw that! And she points at a TV screen that's still playing <laughs> the news of you stepping off a train with your M with your mask lit up and then all of you going like, oh shit, we're being filmed. And like one by one, Cass walking up from the, you see the image of Cass stepping out from in front of this train and her boots are demolished and she's <laughs> limping and she's like, and you hear her saying, ow, 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 I think a to tore toenail. It's like she's like <laughs> stepping up from the top of the tracks and, um, and she just goes, and that is Cass. Yeah. Your new friend? Yeah. <laughs> I got a couple of them that you should all meet soon. So this is all of them, and you're a part of them? Okay. Yeah. Um. There's some questions? Yeah. Um, maybe I should just get the, She's a superhero, you hear your brother just say he's stopping. <laughs> and you were the ones not supposed to say anything. I didn't say anything. I waited until you screwed up, and you screwed up, and you just keep eating the spaghetti yeah, you're again. You're welcome for your life, um, little your, gremlin. Your dad just goes, all right, all right. I just, I, I baby, I need you to tell me what has happened, where have you been, what has happened, what are we watching on the news? I. Okay. Are you okay? Um, complicated question. Um, maybe, um, let me just, maybe, I'm gonna put Sophia down. And um, your mother moves forward and says, yeah. okay, I'll take her. Um, and thinks up. Maybe you should both sit. Um, and in unison, like a comedy act, <laughs> they both <laughs> sit right down in front of you. Okay. And your dad crosses his arms and goes, so you're a superhero now? Yeah. Okay. We all are. Um, okay. This is uh, me and I 
shift into my mom very slowly. There's a gasp, and then you hear Marco go, holy shit! And your mom no. goes, Marco, shut up! Language! Language, Marco! The baby's here. <laughs> um, and your dad just <laughs> stares and goes, Oh, that's just weird. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm Could sorry. You I'm sorry. To, I... <laughs> um, it was familiar, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I also, um, I was Joe. Uh, I don't want to lie. Joe? Yeah, Officer Joe. Your mother says, Hold the baby. Now, do you want to yell at me? And your mother rises and says, That was you? I'm sorry. I. It was the only way I could go and save them and not have you make me stay home when the boys were missing, you know? And your dad just is holding Sophia and just goes, uh, yeah, I mean, I could see that being a bit of a, and your mom. Thanks. <laughs> just, and he's like, I, I mean, if, if, if I was gonna connect the dots, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just, okay. <laughs> and your mom looks back at you and just says, mm -hmm. Is this something you could not do? Shifting? I don't think so. It just kind of happens. Are you planning on doing... How did this happen to you? Oh, right. Okay. Um... <laughs> so, the gallery I went to, uh, the gallery... Ga the gala, gala, the gala that I went to with Lacey, the, 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 the ex exhibition. Well, we were there and then uh, sort of a, a riot happened while we were there and then we tried to get out a safe way and then a sort of scientist came and opened a thing and then we all sort of got blasted with um, power. <laughs> that was almost a month, that was a month ago. That was about a month ago. Um, a lot's happened. Um, <laughs> It was kind of, you know, we were trying to not be known, and then, sorry. I you have been running around, changing into random people, and doing <laughs> dangerous things for a month? Yes. And your dad goes, well, it's not like she's, I mean, it's better than other things she could be doing. At least she's not, you know, putting graffiti on things and robbing places, right? And your mom just says, that's not really a glass half full argument. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right, Dad. I could be doing those awful other things. <laughs> um, you get the impression that Marco might know something. Yeah. Because as I instantly give him a look. <laughs> so, have you ever seen, and, and Hector will know exactly what I'm talking about, mm. but have you ever seen. Um, the moment in Superman Returns when uh, the question gets asked uh, of Lois, where were you? And Jimmy Olsen, who kind of theorizes he knows where Lois Lane was, just sort of takes a long bite out of his sandwich and kind of looks around. <laughs> so when your dad brings up tagging and <laughs> you say these lines, you see your brother Marco just slide the fork into his mouth and take a long time pulling it out. I think there's more meatballs on the stove, Marco. I'm gonna go get some more meatballs. And he gets up and moves back into the kitchen. Um, um, so your mom says, I, I cannot find, I'm, I'm not sure that there is enough of a complete a structure to the English language to fully describe how unbelievably pissed off I am right now. Sure. And, and I'm trying to process this, Luma. Good, good, good. I'm Honestly, trying to process Honestly, that makes me feel really good. Okay. Okay, maybe you wanna sit down again? I'm, I, I wanna ground you, but I don't know. It's a weird kind of conundrum for a mother to face. If I ground you, does that mean you can't go be a superhero and does someone get robbed? Am I the arch villain at that point? There's <laughs> some. I'm not an arch villain. But what if I imprison oh, a superhero and your dad is looking at her like she's out of her mind? And just says, 
sweetie, I, I think you're overthinking this. <laughs> a yeah, you're little. definitely like the least arch villain I've seen. I don't know what it means. I don't know what any of this means. I don't know what any of this means, and I cannot put any. I just put my hand on her shoulders and then lower her down while she she's goes in, down. like going back down. She looks like she's entering the shock phase. She's gotten past mm -hmm. the anger, and now she's going into the, oh my God, so. Okay. Are the police looking for you? And then your dad pops up and goes, how would they know? Um, I'm pretty sure everyone important in government already knows. We kind of are on the news a lot. I know. I didn't know that I was looking at my daughter on the news. Good. <laughs> Let's hope. I am so just, um, I have blown a fuse. <laughs> Lacey can probably fix that. Is Lacey, is Lacey? Amazing. Can, can they change shape too? No, no, that just seems to be kind of my, um, that's your superpower, Roll. your dad pops up. Yeah, dad. See? And, and, and everybody else kind of has different <laughs> different superpowers? Dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've seen on the news, we got the... I saw someone jump across the sky. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's Cass. <laughs> Is that the same one that stopped the train? Yeah, yeah. It... Damn. Um, um, you, you notice him stiffen a little bit because yeah. you kind of glance down and notice that your mom has been holding his hand and the white knuckled grip that he has. And he just goes, ah, well, um, I think your mother has some more questions. Is that, uh, okay. and your mom says, if you, when you look Lacey's down, I have also been gripping my own knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Your mom says, does Lacey's parents know? look instinctually at, through the wall <laughs> at the boat. You kind of lean out. You, through the rain that, it's, that is pouring down in the light show from the force fields, it is kind of creating a scattering effect. It's a little difficult to see, but you can see that Lacey is no longer in front of their door. Yeah. I think they are about to. I'm about to. Oh, they're definitely about to. <laughs> are you talking to Lacey right now? Um, yeah. It's... It's one Can of you their... please tell them that I'm very disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, thank you for helping save my children. All I send to you is, Mom says she loves you. <laughs> oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> they say hi. I miss you. So... I just go down on to like like little kid stance on the knees on the lap like your mom just she says I need to know things that you can't probably answer unless you've thought of this already but I need to know is this something you plan on I'm just going to oh. go along with this and accept that you can shape change into people <laughs> and that you can turn into Joe which is Weird, but, yeah. but, and your dad goes, cool. <laughs> and she says, um. Mom. We're really helping people. What about my people? You're my daughter. I know. You're risking your life out there. Were you on that transport with that woman jumping across the sky? You were, weren't you? At a safe distance. But, no, yeah. Where did you get that thing? Your dad pipes up. Is that yours? Oh. Remember the whole not stealing thing that I don't do? You're, the, you can't read your mom's face for a split second, which is considerable. The fact that Luma can do that, but like, your mom just stares at you like, yes? Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> Somebody else did it? Your dad leans in. Um, well, they, they, they sort of invented a rule. <laughs> um, if it attacks us, we get to keep it. <laughs> Your mom just goes, what? I, I, 
Okay, you know, I... I'm helping people, and I... I... Sometimes that doesn't... I mean, just walking to work, I, something bad could happen to me. It, it, and I'm... Are you... Are you trying to draw an equivalency to walking to work and that? And she points at the television again. I mean, at least I'm capable of defending myself. <laughs> um, your dad goes, I think what your mother's trying to get to is, is this Luma now? Are you going to be doing that? And how do you... At least I would like to know, does it hurt when you change shape? Are you... No. Are you no. okay? No, it doesn't hurt. I swear it doesn't hurt at all. It just sort of tingles. Um. You know, like when your foot falls asleep. It just sort of feels like a rush of that. Paresthesias. Are you planning on... Is that... There's... There's... Paresthesias? Thanks. I'm, I guess what I'm trying to get at, sweetie, is I'm, and I think your mother is trying to find the words uh, to, not to speak for you, baby, and she just, she looks like she's finally kind of coming down mm -hmm. for a second and thinking level-headed again, and yeah. she just says, your father is trying to say for me that I want to know if this is your life now, because you're making it sound like this is your life now. I want to grab... When you grab her hand, she goes, hands. oh my god. It's just another thing I get to do. I'm not less of who I was. I still am your daughter. I'm still a really annoying big sister. I'm still, I'm still a teacher. I'm, I'm still, I'm still your helper. I'm still, I'm just, I'm just also more. She stands up and pulls her hands out of yours and says, I need to, I'm sorry, I, I need to, 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 to deal with this. And she walks and closes the door to the back of the boat and you can hear her feet on the boards. And a few moments later, you hear her feet going down the ladder to the lower deck oh. and, and your dad goes, She's acting like this because your mother has no filter on how much she loves you. I know. I am I am freaking out inside, but... Um, I know. Uh, you haven't full named me once since I got here. Do you have, like, a secret name? <laughs> do you... Did they, did they... Did you pick one? <laughs> I never once thought you would ask me if I had a secret name. I mean... <laughs> no, I don't. I mean... I, no. I kind of do. It's not skull face or something, is it? Cause, <laughs> no, I think that might already exist. Um, um, I, I... I... Can you handle more? He looks to see if the door is completely closed, and he goes, okay. Okay. Um, I want to, like, okay. I was thinking, you tell, you tell me. Uh, and then I want to run and grab my, my clear raincoat and okay. put it on. Um, still got all the stickers on it. Okay. And I turn the, the mask on. Lights up. And I just go. <sighs> okay. What do I look like? Uh, you kind of look like a moth. You wrap your arms around him and he just says, you're, the, you're gonna be the moth? <laughs> That's what it's, Hawk used to call me. Oh my God, I had forgotten about that. And you, um, you can hear the, the, the gentle, like, soft squeaks of Sophia in his arms as you're hugging him. Yeah. Um, and uh, she's reacting to the glow of your mask and sort of reaching up for it. <laughs> um, he says, the truth is, I know your mom pretty damn well, Luma, and 
I honestly think that once she gets over the shock, you are probably going to be in for a second talk. It's okay. I've got the time. What can Lacey do? Was Lacey also super powered? <laughs> um, I'm gonna let them tell you. They probably would be pretty mad at <laughs> me robbing them of the chance to <laughs> tell the truth. Mm. You already know about one thing. If I know Ruben and Omiko, then they are currently getting an earful. Cut to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Amiko, Amiko is pacing back and forth and going, you can talk to computers. Yeah. Coding is so much easier now. You can talk to, like. It's really cool. What? I don't know what to think about that. Can you talk to, like, so, can you talk to, like, could you talk to, could you literally talk to a phone? Uh, I make his phone ring. Is that you? It says Lacey. Uh, answers it and says, hello? Uh, he hears, hi, Papa. In stereo through one ear with no mic to your mouth oh, I, at I all. I don't say anything. <laughs> oh, you hearing. don't say anything? Um, Gah. He lowers it and goes. Isn't it oh cool? Oh my god. It's really cool, right? Um your other your other father, Reuben, is is looking at you like Well, you shouldn't have any trouble finding work now. Uh. Right? <laughs> and Amiko goes, Are you kidding me with this? And <laughs> he just goes, I'm just trying to see the opportunities here. I mean, if they can talk to computers, I mean, think of the tech wizard that they could be. That they're already a tech wizard, Ruben. I am a lot better now. I can build, my portfolio is gonna be a lot better. <laughs> so, Ruben sits down next to Amiko and just goes, what's it like when you talk to a computer? Like, do they just buzz back at you? Uh, Is that really your question? Yes, that's my question. I want to know what a computer sounds like. You wouldn't ask that question? What's, they what's all sound kind of different. Uh, and the ones that have AI sound a, a lot more like people, even if they don't have a natural language communication uh, programmed into them. But they all sound really awesome and different. It's, it's kind of like synesthesia. I think it's probably a lot like synesthesia. So, Ruben, being a former casting employee, yep. um, nods and goes, well, that's amazing. It's really cool. I have no idea about the mechanism of action at all. I don't know how it interacts, whether it's some sort of electromagnetic phenomenon or what. I mean, if you have any theories, I would really like to know them. I have so many questions. Am Amiko stands up and says, and you see the emotion suddenly start flooding the face and he just, And, and Ruben's like, baby, use your words. And, and Amiko just, you know you were already super, right? <laughs> you didn't have to go get superpowers. You were already super to me. <laughs> and Ruben says, and gets up and the two of them have a moment <laughs> right in front of you yeah. where they're just holding each other. <laughs> and, um, and I just look long enough to send that to Luma. And then why are they gross? <laughs> <laughs> and then you see an image, uh, you see the live footage <laughs> popping up in your eye uh, just in front of you as you're looking at your father. Yeah. And then you just see a hand reaching out and envelop oh. your vision as Amika goes, <laughs> he reaches over and grabs you. And, and, and then again, the hug. And uh, Ruben goes, well over there. 
Ruben just goes, that wasn't, you weren't involved with that stuff that was happening on the television, were you, baby? Yes. Mm. The hug releases <laughs> from Amiko, and with his hand still gently holding your arms, he leans back and looks at you and says, yes? Mm-hmm. Our baby's an action star. <laughs> and Ruben goes, no, they're not. That was a life and death situation. Will you take this seriously? I'm so proud of you. What were you doing? Oh, um, well, I, I was making, I made two ships fly at the same time. I wasn't even in one of the ships. With your I can brain? I, <laughs> Papa, oh my Papa, God. Papa, 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 I can drive now. And Ruben goes, you can drive now? Yeah, it, it's not really as scary when I can do it with my brain, and it's it's a little less overwhelming now, and I have Sweet Baby who helped me. Sweet Baby is an AI that I found. Um, and so uh, it, it's it's a lot easier now, and this is this is the easiest time that I've ever had not living at home. Like, we, I've been living with a lot of other people, and it hasn't been too loud, and things, it's, it's been really good. Um. There's a moment of silence, and then you finally see Ruben start to tear up a little bit. And he looks at you and says, I've never seen you like this before. It kind of feels like it was always supposed to be. So, let's play catch up on everything that's happened since this happened. I want to know everything. Okay. <laughs> and the both of them sit down around you as we move back to Luma's place. Um, but before we get back to Luma, <laughs> down in Blue Dolphin Base, <laughs> um, down in Blue Dolphin Base, it's very quiet under the waves when it comes to a storm overhead. Um, the usual moonlight is not coming through uh, the tops of the, uh, you know, the waves. You're not actually seeing that shafts of moonlight coming through like you normally do, but you are seeing weather reports coming in that it's showing that it is thundering and lightning uh, above this, you know, above the city right now. Um, Anton, as you're coming out of your room, you kind of quick glance in, and Hops is still out. But I'm um, making you breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Hops is still out, but brainwave activity is looking really normal. Good. Um, they are. There's a gentle snore that's inevitable coming from somebody who has not slept in a okay. month. Mm -hmm. I'm about to say, excuse you. Okay, I'll accept that. Um, uh, and um, you can you can hear the footsteps moving through the common area. Uh, Oya has decided to get some sleep too. As you're moving into the area, you're starting to feel a little bit better too. Your body. Um, as you're kind of moving around, you hear this and hovering up to you is this very soft white dome-shaped robot that kind of moves right up to you. Mm -hmm. And you see a display appear at the top of the dome that lists all of your vitals and go, and you hear it say, hello, Anton. How are you feeling this evening? Better, I'm feeling better. I'm glad to hear that, Anton. If you need anything, please let me know. How are you feeling? I'm feeling quite well, thank you. All systems are fully operational. I have a name now. Uh, remind me of that? Florence! Florence, that's right, Florence. <laughs> right, um, actually Florence, I could, I, I, I do need something from you. Uh, can you, would you mind, uh, giving me, um, any kind of an up-to-date medical readout on my, just on my person? But I would be happy to. Please follow me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Moves over to one of the one of the large walls where you guys had first started monitoring. It was the, the large computer console that monitors most of the city's mm -hmm. communications and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Think of it like the Batcave computer, if you will. Mm -hmm. And this big wall of tech that Lacey has been setting up over this time. Um, as you move over to it, um, Florence, you see this metal like this little metal rod in like plug into the computer and you see everything come up on the screen, your vitals and everything. It says, according to this, you are a healthy human male. <laughs> that's good to know. I mean, I, w I was healthy before I, I thought I'd like to think, but that's good to know that I'm still considered a healthy human male. This has been a weird month. <laughs> Great, can I get a copy of that? 
Florence? Of course. Okay. Printing a readout now. Would you like this in physical format or translated directly to your optical sensor? Just to my optical sensor would be good. <laughs> you see it pop up on your screen. Thank you, okay, I'll store that away. If you need anything else, please let me know. Um, your health is my top priority, Anton. Thank you, Florence, thank you. You're very welcome. Unplugs. Um, as Florence moves away, your eyes glance up. Just as you're hearing Cass just start walking into the room, your eyes glance up and you see um, about 15 feet away um, is Oniko. Mm -hmm. She is sitting across from Sal. And the two of them have a checkerboard between the two of them. Beautiful. And they're both seated on the floor. And Sal is just, his arms are folded. And Oniko is just watching him. And then she moves one of the checker pieces and waits. And he goes down. His finger's too large as he's trying to move one of them. He ends up moving two. And she gently smiles and takes his hand and guides him to one checker piece and moves it for him Aww. and then moves it back. And you're just kind of watching this moment unfold in front of you. It's a little surreal to see these two, especially who they were when you first met them. Um, and at about that point, Cass, you walk into the room about the same time noticing this. Um, and in the distance, you can hear sort of the low hum of the news playing in the background um, as the reports are still coming in. You're constantly seeing that image, the image of you jumping, <laughs> launching yourself through the air over and over and over, all the talking heads spewing nonsense, throwing their opinions out, telling everybody what it really means, hiding it behind the fact that it's an opinion. And um, amidst all of the, the chaos that you're seeing on the screen, um, you stand next to Anton in this moment and you're watching these two play a game of checkers together. This has been a really weird month. It sure has. Hmm. How's your butt? Better, much better, all things considered. Considering it got shot with plasma bolts, it's, it's pretty good. How's your um, muscles? I think good, yeah. Do you have to stretch after we do what we do? I, I guess. You gotta get Hops to show me some more of that stuff. I okay. mean, you know. I could I could show you some, some yoga poses if you want. I have some stuff that's not really useful for me anymore. I'm having to find new ways to actually stretch my body. Huh? Yeah, I guess you kind of leveled out of yoga, didn't you? I did, yeah. Yeah, it's completely useless. <laughs> Yeah, I've mastered it uh, to a point that no human has ever mastered it. So. <laughs> Whoa! But it's not impressive because, I mean, you know, I can do this. So. <laughs> I bent my finger down you to can... touch my elbow yeah? and brought it back up. <laughs> well, do it again, do it again. Okay, pick a finger. Uh, that one. Okay, this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, it's weird looking. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's very impressive, but... It's weird, I know. What? <laughs> yeah. But it's still important to try to center oneself, especially amidst all of this chaos. What does that mean? <laughs> Centering yourself? Mm -hmm. It could mean many different things. I always took it to just mean uh, taking a moment to, to meditate, go inside of yourself, take a breath. Um, I find that a lot of people don't do that. So it means to literally close your eyes, stop what you're doing, if sit if you can, try not to think about anything, but if you're thinking about something that's good, let it all in, don't ignore it, actually listen to it. Uh, but uh, keep your eyes closed during this whole process. And if you find that you're a bit scatterbrained, if you're distracted, easily distracted, what? again, keep no, your I eyes mean, closed the entire that? time, Cass, keep your eyes <laughs> <still> closed. Um, <laughs> focus on your breathing, focus on your breathing. Head down is good, that's good. Take a moment. I don't think it's working. It is working though, because you're calm right now. You're centered. You're thinking about things, which is good. You already automatically moved your head down before I even mentioned anything, which means that you were taking a moment to reflect. I don't know if I did that. I, uh, I don't feel well, like I'm doing anything. It's okay, it, it, it's not supposed to be a pressured thing. You're not supposed to put any pressure on it. Whatever you end up doing is going to be right. It's fine. And the more you do it, the more you'll find what's right for you. It's about listening to your body. It's about listening to yourself. 
If you want to shrug your shoulders, shrug your shoulders. That's good. That's fine. Did you learn this in, like, corporate school? No, but they did <laughs> offer some yoga and sort of well-being classes uh, in the corporate ladder. They did offer that, but no, I, 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 I kind of say did Most of the people we've met so far are not exactly chill and, like... It, it, they, I mean, yeah, I don't oh, know. no, yeah, no, I agree. Yes, you mean people we've met, what, like all of the people that have tried to kill us? Yeah. yeah. They're not chill at all. No, they're not. We need more of that. Chill people. Um, no, I, 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 you know, like everybody, you get to a point in uh, in your adolescence where you're figuring stuff out, and, and I was kind of drawn to the, to the calmness that, yoga and different practices led to so I kind of took to it and I sort of probably tried probably better than what I was drawn to to bring it to what were you drawn to not important <laughs> was it tell me about the eyes closing thing oh, <laughs> I'm well, listening was it violent or did it hurt other people the stuff you were drawn to in your adolescence did you punch people walls do you things? have a dark history <laughs> You see Sal and Oniko are both on the sofa leaning over and hey Sal, been you, watching you both of focus you. Focus on the game, buddy. You getting your butt kicked over there, okay? Um, um, Have you been kinged once? <laughs> oh, you gotta explain to him kinging. You have to do that. Um, Oniko smiles and she tugs on his arm and he just goes, <laughs> but gosh. <laughs> and pulls pulls away from the conversation and back down to the checkerboard and she glances at the two of you and holds up a checker piece and sets it back down and uh, King Sal What's that? King Sal <laughs> Okay, talk me through the listening again I mean, you, you did fine You were doing fine You're doing, yeah, you're doing what you were supposed to be doing The important thing is is that Everybody's always trying to work or eat or rush somewhere so that they can work or eat or rush somewhere else so that they can do a leisure activity so that they feel better when they're working and eating. Yeah. And at some point during that whole day, if you take five minutes to sit, to, to, to stand, to be by yourself and just be calm, it can be nice. And about that moment and that silence, you actually hear the sound of Hops waking up in the next room. You hear her say Anton out loud. Anton! <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. This is the first time she's been awake in quite a while. <laughs> what, like 15 hours or something? <laughs> something like that. Where's the 20? coffee? Oh. Um, Sal's coffee. No, you keep playing. We'll be right there. <laughs> but coffee. Okay. And Oniko grabs his big head and turns it back and says, I stretch over oh. again. Stretch over into Hops' room, okay. wherever she is. <laughs> so a head enters the room. I forget that he does that. <laughs> I'll bring my body with it. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Um, that Wendy? was, yeah. You okay? I feel amazingly bad, but in a great way. Yeah, I'm gonna Normally. say Hobbs, it, it really like, your body is responsive. It doesn't feel mm. sluggish at all. But yeah. But your, your I, headache is acute. It's like a, it's like it's, the killer hangover from hell, Anton. Yo, I yes. need a coffee. There's a hovering, there's a noise as you see this bot just come hovering into the room and go, Ah, the patient is awake. Uh huh. Hello, Florence. I am Florence, your medical bot. Florence. Yes, Anton. Anton, override. Voice level lower. Thank I'm you. sorry. Thank I'm, I'm sorry, Anton, but Lacey has specifically designed me to not lower my volume, particularly if you were to request it. Damn it, Lacey. What about if it is Diabolical affecting? Diabolical genius. <laughs> what if it's? A... <laughs> What if it's affecting your patient's F comfort? Florence. It's going to cause me to have severe sympathy pains in the back of my AI receptors. Okay, just tell me what's if I'm better. Florence. You are better. Great, okay. Florence, would you like a override? Sedative? Step back. <laughs> 10 feet. <laughs> 10 feet. It just <laughs> hovers back. I have now oh, hovered back good. precisely 10 That's feet. That's better. That's much better. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. His voice is like an echoing chamber in my head. Would you like some Tylenol? 
or some ibuprofen. Yes. Go get that. Yes. Excellent. Yes, Thank you, Florence. You see a syringe? Oh. Okay, I guess you can step closer than 10 feet. <laughs> it goes. Thank you. Do you want some coffee? Yes. We can have some oh coffee. my gosh, but I feel really coffee. good, but like, oh. Listen, but, uh, look, look, you but, might not uh, know this, but when people lack sleep and they finally get that sleep, they're gonna feel like death. That's a commonly known thing. Everybody knows that. They I end just, up feeling like death. In my defense, also, I just want you to know that. You're a batter, I, yes, I know, but no, you're still no, no, feel no. Like but death. no, I just wanted to let you know that I thought I cooked you all breakfast, but apparently I didn't. It was very did you dream real. That? I did. That was very. That's very sweet of you. Well, hey. You know what else you could use? What? Breakfast? A taco. I'm gonna make you some tacos because I think that's all we have left in the kitchen to make. For breakfast? And Lacey and Luma took the all car, right. so we I, we can't go anywhere. <laughs> We're underwater. We're stuck here. So all we have right. to wait until they get back. But okay. I will go make you tacos. Thank I you. Think. Sam, you sent, you sent Amelia back, didn't you? Or I mean, presumably there's travel time, and that's what this represents. <laughs> sure. Okay. We'll go there. All right, cool. Yeah, I think you're all Okay, here. Amelia's good. Right, right. Right. You're all standing here. <laughs> you want me to go out and get you some tacos? I'll go get you some food. What do you want? What where's you... my... Where's my pool stick? It starts to dawn on you. Oh. Her Did we staff... leave? Did we leave my staff? Her staff was left on the transport. It might be embedded in it. Prison transport. Oh, that's okay. Crap. No, that's all right. We no, can get it back. it's not. It's not we, we okay. We can get it back. Why, why can't we get it back? Sure, we can get it back. There How we are we going to get it back? It's probably in custody okay, we'll, somewhere. We'll figure that out. In an evidence oh, chamber. Oh no, we'll have to break a law. Come on. <laughs> can this be when I get there with the cops? That's yeah. the problem, all right, Antoine. Absolutely. We have to what? <laughs> we might have to break into some secure facility to get Hops's stick back. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, See? It's, not it's not about the, the Anton, it's not about the stick. I so can, get, can, another can stick. get another stick. That's not can, the issue. Then we can get another one. What's the issue? She might <sighs> need it. She obviously needs it for something. Do you need it to focus your powers? Is it important for just, reasons that you can't tell us? No, no, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's just, okay. It might not look really good for us if... <clears throat> what do you mean? Our PR is either very good or very bad, depending on how you look at it. I've been meaning to ask, how worried should we be about um, all? We're on the Again, it seems it's... like on the social meets, uh, half of everybody in the city is praising our efforts, putting two and two together, and figuring out that, yes, we're the same group that was involved with that other incident, <laughs> and in that other incident, it's not that difficult to put that together. But another half of the city um, thinks we're abominations and are awful and um, yeah. should, should be... <laughs> Put down a lot of them. A lot of them is, are saying that that we should be hunted down and executed and, oh, oh, and arrested and imprisoned. So it's my, you know my stick might help that argument. How so? Why? If they run it for prints. <laughs> Why? Because they'll have your prints on them. You should probably have the rest of your fingers attached to those gloves. <laughs> Well, it, it, helps, <laughs> it helps with accuracy. And also, whenever I'm dealing cards, it helps to not have actual gloves on hands. Okay. I just, you know, with shaking hands, Hold you on. haven't met Hold some on. of the guys in the underground. You don't want to, you know. I do want to point out, I wouldn't worry about your prints being run on the staff because every important faction that shouldn't know about us probably knows about us. That's been established, right? Every powerful group, whether it's the police or the corporations especially, Who are you in trouble with? they all know about us. Wait, this is something separate? No, I'm not like in trouble with anything. I just might have a criminal record. You, you tried to mumble you might have a criminal record? <laughs> <laughs> I just drink the coffee. Um, well, I <laughs> think you're fine because I think we all have criminal records now. She means a different one. Yeah, but what does it matter? I'm just saying. Did you kill somebody? No, I'm not. No, and come are, on, Antoine. I might have about? just hurt some people. You hurt some people. Not like, but it, didn't was just, like it was an accident. accident. Oh. oh, it was like a job. Okay, look. All right. Where and when did this happen? Oh, it was and a while are, ago. Are you okay? I'm just saying. Are you okay? I might have a record and it might have. It might be. Long? Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying, I, Lindy, you're saying that there might be somebody who will find out who you are and come after you. I'm just saying it's not going to help our super, argument to make us seem like we're good you? people if if oh, one of you, the cause, good you, people. Because you have priors. Yes. There's a matter. rumbling sound. And it kind of 
oh. interrupts as you all hear the transport, Amelia, docking. Oh, that came back quick. They Are probably, they they, Lacey probably sent that remotely. That's probably not. That is so cool. Also, I really um, want my stick back. So yeah. as that transport docks, <laughs> um, oh. we're gonna do a time elapse after some discussions with the folks and <laughs> processing that's <laughs> happened. Um, there's a, there's a, you, you, you two spend the better half of the evening talking your parents down, especially when you start getting into details about some of the stuff you've been doing. Um, bringing up being shot at does not go over well yeah, for either families. Right away. Um, uh, <laughs> even the sympathetic excitement of the dad. Does come up from down in, in the lower levels? Um, she does. Really? Um, but that's, that's less than twenty-four that's, hours. That's the end. That's the end of this time elapse that I'm getting. <laughs> I through. got it. So there's a there's a lot of discussion and yeah. there's a lot of uh, back and forth and intense questioning about gunfire and what you have been up to. Um, I show the shield. I'm sure my mom's investigated it in, in thoroughly. I mean, at, at one point, your dad has to relent. And you're, as he's sitting here saying, you know, I, I imagine parents who have children that are like announcing they're going into the service or telling their folks that they want to become police officers, they probably have to go through something kind of similar to what I'm experiencing. I mean, it's just that, yeah. I mean, that is a little different than what I'm seeing on the television, to be fair. And you can change into people, so that's, we don't know if that's a, I mean, I'm not, well then, uh, just sort of like a spy, I guess. Do, don't, but don't, do, don't ever do that, though. Oh, okay. Please. Don't um, be a spy, or don't. I just, I, I, I just don't want my, I don't want my fantasy of, I, I don't, I don't need, I don't need to imagine my daughter in like Moscow, <laughs> like, uh, you know, pulling secret files off of a data and being chased by the KGB or something like. Uh, no. Um. I have I, not left Los Angeles. I am. I have hit my threshold now, where I need to process this. Video. <laughs> um, I I would never tell you to lie to your mother, except for I'm going to say, do not ever tell her about the gunfire. Okay. Um, because neither one of us will survive that encounter. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be fine. Just I'm gonna. And he glances as the door opens, and she's standing there. And she says, Anthony, I want to speak to my daughter. And your dad says. And he stands up and he carries uh, the baby out with him. Sophia just kind of making the little squeaky noises. And um, he moves past and she closes the door behind him and says. H hang on. Marco, I know you're listening. Close your door. There's no sound. <laughs> and then a few moments later, Marco comes out and goes, um, I think something's wrong. What? Uh, Luca told me not to tell you guys. Oh God, what? And your mom, you in unison, you both of you and your mom go, oh God, what? <laughs> and um, he goes, um, I didn't know about it until tonight because he wanted me to cover for him. So don't get mad at me, okay? Luca's been magboarding and he's got a championship match tonight. Oh, cool. <laughs> and your mom I, goes. I turned my face a little <gasps> bit because. Of the, oh! <sighs> you see the fuse pop and your mom just goes. Mom, it's okay, I'll get him. Yes! Yes! We have a superhero in this family. <laughs> Go get Luca. Okay. That's what they're for. Get in your room! And just scampers past you and goes, don't be pissed at me. Um, oh, 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 yeah, he, he's down at the tracks. Uh, kind of in the same area where uh, that cool lady with the rainbow hair stopped the train. Cool. And he goes downstairs yeah. and, <clears throat> and says, and your mom turns back to you and goes, oh my God, oh my God. Don't worry, this, will, this is exactly what I'll do. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna bring him back, and I'm gonna give him a talking to, and then you're gonna give him a talking to, and then no more mag boarding. No more mag boarding. Turn on your mask. Don't forget your mask. I won't, I won't. Okay. Thanks, I'm Mom. Sit down. I'm gonna go yell at Marco really fast, okay? Yes, and then go. Okay. Great. Run um, downstairs. 
the shouting. <laughs> no, no, not shouting. What do you? Okay, you get downstairs, and your Marco's like he's in his bed, just going. I want to very slowly. He looks up at open you. Open the door. He says, "If our brother is ever doing something as cool as sneaking out and madboarding, you better tell me before you tell mom." His name's Laser Hawk. Cool. <sighs> Writing that down. Really? Laser Hawk. Yeah. He thought that was a cool name. That, that's how you're gonna find him on the boards. Oh, I'll be able to find him. He's really good, Luma. He's a total badass. He's, he almost died last time though, so you should probably go get him. I ain't gonna yell at him for that. <sighs> I love you, you little gremlin. Don't uh, lie to me. <sighs> his eyes widen and go, you're changing into me. Oh, sorry. Whoa, weird. <laughs> you can't have three of us. Uh, three of you. Oh, God. That's so weird. I know. Don't ever tell anyone that that just happened. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any secrets? Um, I, I, I stole the mag board that he uses. Well, don't do that. Lacey's machine shop. Oh, you're gonna tell Lacey. It's really cool, though. It wasn't... No stealing magboards. We can make you one, you goof. I uh, know. Okay. <coughs> really? Oh, not now. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> okay. You close the door. Run upstairs. Your dexterity. Yeah. You take the stairs in two in two steps. You're at the top. Yeah. Um, and your mother oh, kind of oh. flinches as she sees you. Just and he goes, won't be doing that anymore. Leave him. He might be crying in his bunk. Um, leave. <laughs> you, she and watches as, you as go. As soon as I leave, like, door shuts, door opens again, run, kiss on the cheek. Aww. I'll she, be safe. She goes, okay. Chink. Um, have fun superheroing. <laughs> Thanks, bring, Mom. Bring back Luca. One piece. Um, you rush out into the rain? Yeah. Um, your dads are in the middle, they kind of have excluded you from the shouting match they're in now. It is one of those love <laughs> shouting matches where they're not actually angry at each other, they're just kind of trying to one-up each other and like catch the flaws in each other's arguments and throw them back. They, they've gone past the point of the point and have entered into just quarreling about what's best for Lacey and blah, blah, blah. Like going back and forth about Lacey being a superhero and then being terrified for your life. And it's been going on for about five minutes now. Their voices are raised, but they're not, there's no, there's no rage behind it. They're just going back and forth and occasionally saying ridiculous things like, oh, what happens next? They get a sponsor? What, are they, are they, gonna, they, gonna, they gonna put stickers all over the chair? I'm not gonna have my child and go back and forth and back and forth. And as this is happening- How's you, it going for you? Uh, at about that point, when that sound comes through, um, you glance just in time to see the glowing form of Luma underneath one of these force fields waving at you from about 70 feet away <sighs> on the dock. <laughs> uh, they're yelling a lot. It's really loud. I don't like it. I just, I need, it's it's okay though. I think it's, I think it, I think it'll be okay. What's going on? How is it with you? Did it, I heard a little bit of it. Yeah. But then I was hearing my dad's and then it was too much and I couldn't No, my everything. mom stayed in the dungeon for about six hours. Only six? I know, right? I think she was really excited and mad. That, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but hey, guess what? What? My little brother stole stuff from you, and now we have to go maybe to somewhere more. What? Yeah. <laughs> it actually vocalizes a little bit. <laughs> your dads kind of turn and look at you. As <laughs> oh, I know. You want to come help Sorry. me yell at him? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. Um, Ruben just goes, baby, are you mad? <laughs> Yeah, um, I, uh, Luma just called me. I have, to, I have to. I didn't upset them. They were upset because you started yelling at me. I didn't start yelling at you. That's... You. I have to go. I'm gonna go with Luma. I'll be back later. And while I'm gone, if you ask me to stop superheroing, I will. I'm your only kid now and so it's fair just 
figure it out while I'm gone. Um, I probably won't be back in time for dinner. And then I leave. And slide into your chair and out the door. Um, <laughs> oh, I love you! Uh, you can say that over your shoulder just as the door closes. They are in total silence watching you go. Um, and you see I, the form, I, the blue streak as Lacey moves down the dock at I, high speed. I, I moved a little bit closer and I've, I've, I've left a <sighs> message on the window for the dads at the front door. Just oh, okay. A, just a, a, a breath heart. Oh, okay. As so, like an apology. So when you come out, uh, Luma's actually there now oh. and you two kind of run into each other. What? What did he take? Okay. What did he take? What so did he guess take? What? What did he take? Little brothers and headboarding. <laughs> what? Wait. Marco? No, Luca. I should have known when he spun a lie about having friends. He doesn't like anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so. So what? Did, we got to get there. I think he's got a game or a match tonight. What does this have to do with stealing? Oh. Took the Magborg from your shop. Talk There's nothing. Talk. Yeah. Where do you hear his name? What is it? Let's get there. I kind of want to hear you hear it announced. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> And that's where we're gonna go on our break. <laughs> as y'all race down to the tracks, um, which is, as I, if you remember me describing, is actually not that far from Rack no. City. No, yeah. Um, it's it's gonna be pretty attainable. Um, you're probably gonna get there in time before the beginning of the match. Um, it's like Anglo. And mm -hmm. we will finally, finally get into. Oh, Sam, you've been wanting this for so long. We are finally going to get into some mag boarding tonight. What? Um, so stay tuned. We're going to be back in about 10 minutes, everybody. Um, and we will see you then. Welcome back to Los Angeles 2119. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Welcome back to Los Angeles 2119, Superpunks. Ready to jump back into tonight's game of Callisto 6. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and uh, I, too, will second you and also say butts. Well done, Sam. Yes. Huh? What am I talking about? Um, so let's go ahead and jump back in. Uh, when we left off, you guys were racing off to the tracks because the parent mag board competition is taking uh -huh. place tonight. And it's also worth noting that it is <laughs> raining like crazy, so mag boarding is more dangerous than usual. So I'm going to go ahead and give the audience a, uh, a snapshot. Not to mention the board that he has is pretty souped. Yeah. <sighs> A snapshot on what magboarding is so that awesome. we can jump right in when we get to it. Magboarding is a race. It is uh, held much like a snowboard and the competitors stand on it. You think of it sort of like the hoverboards from Back to the Future. Yeah. The competitors line up two by two on these mag rails, which the trains use to transport themselves from A to B. Uh -oh. The mag rails activate when a train is incoming or has been activated or is departing. And when the mags activate and the boards rise, the race begins. If you fall behind before you get to the finish line, you risk being crushed by a train. Ooh. If you go too fast, you risk colliding with an outgoing train. Um, the only way to stop is by hard braking, which is literally grinding your mag board against the tracks, which can do multiple things, such as accumulate heat and destroy your board or your feet, or oh. it, multiple, multiple injuries are possible. Um, you can be injured, of course, by getting your ass kicked by another mag boarder who's trying to pass you. As I said, there's only enough room on the tracks for two people side by side. So if someone's catching up and they try to pass you, sometimes that can break out into a very dangerous high-speed melee. And it's also worth pointing out um, that you there is no limit to the rate of acceleration. You can keep going in acceleration. Now... There are obviously limits to how far and fast a human being can go on a mag board because they're the ones propelling themselves. But let's just say that it's like going downhill even though you're going straight. The more you push your board, the more speed you gain, you don't slow down and you have to hard brake. So the speed is constant. Um, and with the rain tonight, the speed is going to be very dangerous because hard braking is going to be somewhat unreliable. Um, and we begin now, as y'all are arriving, um, it's easy to spot where the mag boarding is happening, but you're starting to see the typical signs, but Luma, you're actually spotting tags that are using street speak and pointing the way to a mag board competition that you're able to pick up on. Yeah, that's um, not my first. 
Kind yeah. of. Yeah. It's not your it's not your first rodeo. Not at um, <laughs> all. Um, I still use the same signs. <laughs> So you're familiar with the I tend to find mm-hmm. this too much. Yes, yes. <laughs> the I really appreciate it. Of course. I know. The competition is easy to spot. Yeah. Um, as y'all are approaching the tracks, you see the gathering. Um, it's about uh, about a quarter of a mile away from the platform, near an area where the tracks have leveled out enough that people can gather. And you see the I mean it looks like a rave in the middle of the night underneath yeah. underneath the rain. Um People are scantily clad. Um, a lot of them are just dressed in transparent plastics with just glowing, like uh, like neon glowing uh, ir- and like iridescent jewelry and whatnot, um, mm-hmm. tattooed up. It, this is the night crowd who mag boards. People are gathering in number, and you see uh, this is this is the hardcore 2119 punk crowd. Yeah. With the shaved heads and the mohawks and all sorts of jewelry that you normally only spot in the night crowds like this. The illegal. Uh, activity of, of magboarding brings out all types. Um, yeah. You do occasionally encounter some of the more rich looking people that are out here that are hanging with the crowds um, and they're kind of easy to spot because uh, they don't hide the fact that they're rich. A lot of them are wearing those slick suits that don't apparently have any buttons. They look like these very sharp looking like two piece uniforms um, with high collars. Um, it, it's, it's really, some of them look corporate. Some of them probably are just coming for money. But um, you do see uh, the digital display of a board, this glowing up overhead of about 12 mag borders. So you see this holographic image being projected up big enough for everyone to see who the competitors are in the evening. And every one of the competitors- Is this are, live feed? No, you're, it's, no, there's no, this isn't being broadcast. Oh, okay. It's oh, like they're taking like over the incoming trains rates. board, they've hacked it in, oh. and the competitors are on the board instead of the destinations. Correct. Got it. So you're seeing, instead of the destinations, you're actually seeing all the names and the list of competitors. It doesn't take you long to see Laser Hawk on that board. Um, Can you guess which one Luca is? <laughs> but get him, okay. <laughs> what do you think they... Can I see around? Doesn't even know this is happening. Lots Um, of crowd in uh, here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, We're playing checkers. Is there any sort of like, like higher up officials in the Mac, like people that run the races that I that we would recognize? Yes, you recognize her immediately. Great. She's the most famous Mac border that has competed in the past 15 years. Um, There's a woman with the side of her head has been completely shaved to reveal the metal cranium plate that has been put in the side of her skull that she bears proudly, and it has, it looks like it's been painted over. Is this um, flat? It's flat. You recognize her instantly. Slap? Slap. 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 <laughs> Thank you, slap. Although slap would have worked too. <laughs> I'm slap. sure it was considered. <laughs> for, for a quick refresher, our slap is the most famous mag border. She got her nickname because of the sound that her body made when she collided with the concrete at almost 300 miles an hour. But also made the record. And also <laughs> made the record. She should be dead, and yet here she stands. The left side of her body is very, very clearly cybernetic. Yeah. Um, the le- her left arm, her left leg, um, and then the cranial plating, and a big smile on her face. The side of her head is shaved, um, and it kind of dangles off to the side, very lacy-like in that regard, um, except for it drops down to about her shoulders, where you see it actually starts tying into these iridescent, glowing, um, looks like lines of cable that are all tied into the uh, the hair itself. And that matches her outfit, which is, looks like partially armored for show, Mm-hmm. And then the rest of it is just like this slick looking, very, uh, very revealing outfit of just like plastics and uh, all sorts of like really, really rad looking, I, I, I dare say sort of like the rave crowd look where it's yeah. got these strips of leather going all us into various places that conform to eventually make into an outfit. Yeah, she looks dope. She looks dope as hell. Yeah. Um, and she is getting quite the chant from the crowd as she steps up, a clanking sound from her left leg um, as she takes to the, the rise of the platform and everyone's saying, slap, slap, slap. And she just does this and just like lamps her arms out with a big smile on her face. Anybody who's close by could probably hear the clinking of rain on her metal cranium yeah. uh, plate. And she just smiles and lets the chants wash over her. And you see the mag borders are already lined up on the tracks. Go. Oh. Um, you've gotten here just in time before the opening shot. Um, Can I hear the board? Hear the board? I know this board so well. You could listen for I, There's no point in making you roll because the difficulty on this is going to be six. And I'm pretty sure you pop that, don't you? I mean, depending on exactly what goes into it, not always. Plus, it's really loud, tech loud. 
and real loud. It's tech so loud? So I think it is absolutely worth uh, seeing whether I can do it. So six, but because it's your brother's board, I'm gonna give you an asset. That's fair. So drops to five. Okay, six drops to five. Uh, drops to three from uh, Technopath. Uh, uh, down to one from uh, machine skills um, and uh, the smart contacts for perception. Oh, free level of effort either way. Then yeah, I was going to say, I don't okay, think perception yeah, would so help it does drop through. I just wanted to cheat. Okay, cool, cool. I don't, I don't ever want to cheat it. Um, you are aware that it is here. Absolutely. One of the, one of the racers on the track is definitely Laser Hawk. And it's pretty easy to spot which one it's going to be because all of the other competitors, there's a total of there's a total of 12 competitors. 11 of them stand tall enough that you can yeah. see them from over the crowd. <laughs> one, you don't see, see, one you don't Aww, see. Oh, you little baby. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, where's, where's the 12? The um, board's up there. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, you I mean, I can't. I can't get, get out of the up. way. Um, yeah, people, people are barely listening to you guys as y'all are <laughs> trying to push through the crowd. Um, you hear Slap is giving some kind of speech about glory and about <laughs> victory. That means it's, it's time. If you can, again, it's with time. my movie references, but it sounds a lot like, like a Morton Joe telling everyone they're going to go to Valhalla. Mm -hmm. She just gets up there and starts going on about glory and about how, what it can bring. And death isn't certain. She survived. So there's always a chance they will too. Yeah, um, <laughs> Joe. She, um, she says tonight, Tonight is the biggest pot we've ever had for magboarding thanks to our generous donors. And she uh, motions over and you see a few of the rich people just smiling and the crowd goes, boo! Everyone just erupts <laughs> into boos. You see middle fingers and people like flipping them off and you see the rich people kind of lower their hand and slap goes, fuck you guys, get them the fuck out of here. And immediately the rich guys are looking around and they go, wait, no, I, I pay. And they start getting dragged <laughs> off by these really rough looking types. Um, <laughs> Like, yeah, fuck you, fuck Cassium. Oh, we're being and, like, and Slap turns back. She's like, who wants to see some fucking Mac board, eh? Everyone's like, no, no, no. Oh, Everyone's like he... shouting and cheering. Racers, get ready. Um, Y'all are pushing closer and you see, Lacey, uh... you hear, as you're trying to push to the crowd, you suddenly recognize the sounds of the track talking to the other pieces oh, of the track. Off? You hear the sounds going, prepare to activate, prepare to activate. You hear all, it's like the train station that's about 12 miles from here is activating the track and you can hear the track preparing. It would disrupt uh, the train too. It would disrupt <sighs> everything in, in like 12 miles. Um, Shield on, I basically uh, start like butting through the crowd like a riot gear. This NB next to you turns and looks at you and goes, whoa, ticks you out. Like, and you kind of shove past them as you push forward. Um, you Give make it a off. freaking H limit on that Everyone, party. you, so I'm not even gonna have an attempt roll. I mean, really it's for you as Luma, I'm using your, you're a dex tank. You yeah. kind of, if you're not shoving them out of the way, you're slipping between them before yeah, they know I'm, what's I'm, happening. I'm Comic-Conning the crowd with like just guiding people out of my way. Uh, I'm gonna GM intrude. Okay. You and the crowd swarms back behind you, yep. separating you from Lacey yep. immediately. And you get cut off as you kind of look back and you oh, notice sorry. that Lacey's kind of waving at you and then gets swallowed up by the crowd. <gasps> Lacey, <gasps> Lacey, it's, it's, you are surrounded on every angle by shouting people that are over you and don't notice you. Um, you are completely oh. surrounded. Okay. Um, you're still Lacey? there, right? Yeah, I'm here. Lacey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Sorry. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, I stop moving. Okay. I stay still where I am and I'm just gonna listen for the boards and, and the track. You I'm kind of just, clear your I'm mind for a second and you hear the boards activating and the track activating. Like, <laughs> use and my you. comms and shut out all the noise. Okay, the noise cancellation I immediately. I your mundane noise break. You can hear the slight ringing in your ears from all the shouting as the noise cancellation takes into effect and you begin to block out all the sounds and you hear the low hum of all of it activating. And you hear the familiar sound that you weren't even aware you recognized or knew that you would recognize of Hawk's board activating. It has a slight, slight high-pitched squeal to it. Hawk, using, with your help, tweaked the shit out of this thing a long time ago. He Those never got a project. chance to write it after it was tweaked, and you hear it turning on. <laughs> um, right as you see Slap go, ready, die! 
die. And she screams die just as you get up and you see <laughs> the mag borders start and they all activate and they take off and everyone's cheering and you see a drone go follow after them. And it's up on the screen, up on the screen, you see all the names drop and then the visual on the drone as it chases after them. Okay. Oh, and everyone I'm still starts pushing chanting. through. Um, and you're watching, you see a display of names come up where you see the placing and rankings and where everyone's at through the drone. You can see exactly what places everyone is. Uh, you're at the front now. You're actually right in front of the mag rails. Jack. Um, and in the distance, you make out one light that's just a little bit brighter than the city lights. And it's headed your direction. Um, and you're at the front now. You um, have managed to muscle your way back. A couple of people are shoving you, like shoving your shoulders, like, hey, man. And as you're kind of like taking it, you're looking up at Slap. Hey, you, my little brother's on the track. And one of them stops and goes, which one's your little brother? <sighs> Laserhawk, you better put money on him. I'm gonna shove him out of the way. He goes, as you move away, he goes, yeah, yeah, and he just pulls down his collar and no shit, there is a laser hawk tattoo right across his chest. He goes, fuck, she's laser hawk's sister, guy, you check that out. And everyone's like, starts chanting laser hawk, laser hawk. And Slap, <laughs> Slap is like, fuck yeah, laser hawk. And everyone's like, ah, and the, you can see up on the screen, you can't tell who's who, but you're getting glimpses as this drone is like dodging between these racers. They're coming up onto one of the tunnels. Oh, there, you the observation deck, I run. All right, you're Run rushing to up. where family and friends are allowed to be for the racers. <laughs> uh, that's really that's not like a... the train platform. Yeah, that's kind of up where Slap is at. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I want to run go. up to Slap. You bound right over the mag rails yeah. in a single jump, and it does catch a few people by surprise because that's about you know a 15 foot jump, and you do it. You take it standing. Yeah. <laughs> you land on the other what? side, and everyone's like, "What?" And hey, you, hey. Can you tell them to make a friggin' path for my friend? Um, Slap looks down at you. Um, Slap has a very angular face. Um, she has, either she's had some kind of cosmetic surgery done, but her eyes are bright neo green and her left eye is bright neon blue. She yeah. kind of leans down and looks at you. You can tell she's got some creases in her face from smirking so much on that particular side. Mm -hmm. And she goes, why would I do that? Because if you don't, I'll make sure you never mag race again. She goes, ooh, and she just kind of like looks around and everyone starts, you see some people who are close to nearby start laughing. You, you hear the, the jeer starting to come up from the audience and go, well, I, I guess you should probably do that then. Do you really want one of your crowd trampled in the middle of one of the biggest and most expensive races you've run so far? She shrugs. Hey, no one said Magboard wasn't risky. That goes for watching it. Really? Really. Huh. Is that a challenge? She says, <laughs> you want to Magboard me? Do I look familiar to you? Some hot chick with white hair. I've seen a million of them. <laughs> Get ready. She turns and looks at it and says, and you see one of the guys look at her and go, are you kidding me? And she goes, do I look like I'm fucking kidding you? And he flinches and goes, kill the race. And you see one of the guys go, kill the race? And you hear a murmur starting to build in the crowd. Um, you're starting to hear this too, uh, Lacey, from where you are. Some people are starting to say, she just killed the race? And you can't kill the race. The train started. She said, kill the race. And you see somebody hop down off the platform and walk over and pop open a control lever where you see an emergency uh, panel. Um, and you hear somebody lean in, Lacey, and says, when was the last time someone killed the race? And the guy next to him says, never reaches down, you hear an emergency initiated and the mags just power down. And you watch the drone come slowing to a stop as the mag borders, they start 
wobbling and you see a few of them eat shit. Like as soon as the mag turns off, a lot of them had reached about 60 miles an hour on the mag boards and you see the sparks flying up as the mag boards make contact with the seal of the track and some of them go spilling off to the side. Kid, come on, kid. You see Hawk, Laser Hawk. You see that mag board hit the thing and he pivots suddenly. You can tell he's been surprised, but he pivots into like a planked position moving forward and you just watch him slide and angle all the way down the track, sliding with just a trail of sparks behind him. This little boy just racing down, just sparks exploding behind him. Every other racer behind him eats shit. And he slowly starts coming to a stop and then and then he jumps down off the board and immediately runs out of the tunnel and shoves his feet into a puddle of water and you see steam rising. Um, there's also smoke rising from the mag board. Um, and through the drone, you can hear through the helmet that this kid is wearing, you're hearing your brother go, fuck, fuck, fuck. Lacey, <laughs> <laughs> um, are you okay? Um, I'm okay. I panicked, I don't know what a mag board. Okay, uh, I think I promised I wouldn't. I thought, I just wanted her to turn off the track. You did it! Yay! Shit! Oh, no. Okay, uh. She gets on the mic, what are you gonna do? Can I connect uh, to Luca's comms and say, Racer, please bring your board back to starting position. Okay. Just, you get I, we need the board. Yeah, yeah. Need a board. You see, the, 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 everyone is being, every, all the racers are standing up. They look quite confused. And then you actually hear her relay the message to the drone. I need to get up to the front. I tried. I, that was what I asked. And <laughs> then I ended up challenging her. Um, <laughs> that accelerated quickly. It really uh, did. If this race already started. I didn't know what to do. So, <laughs> Lacey, if you're willing to spend an experience point, I'll give you some narrative. Uh, uh, an experience point rather than the intellect fund? Yeah, this is this is going to be this is this is not a power. This is this is a narrative shift. And for those of you keeping track at home, when Luma was awarded two experience points for <laughs> GM intrusion, she did in fact give Lacey one of her experience points. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna die. It sounds like this is now a plot the that I need. You don't so have to I don't buy it. You don't have to do it. This will give you an advantage, though. I, you, will, you, I will buy the plot gate you for my friend. You absolutely do I not. I will buy have. the plot gate for my friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. So as you're having this conversation then with uh, with Luma, um, you hear, hey, 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 tapping on your shoulder. Oh. Hey, you turn and you look. I, I turn my audio back on. <laughs> um, you look up and you see a very familiar, large, heavy set man with a cybernetic arm. Jonathan? Looking down at you and go, oh. Lacey, right? Hi. Hi. Is your arm working better? It feels great. Oh, good. I'm so glad. What are you doing here? Um, I'm here with uh, my friend up at the front of the track. I I got separated from her. I was trying to get to the front with her. Oh. I, I don't really mosh well. Oh yeah, no, no. Mosh. Hey, hey guys, come on. And he just, he, uh, with that, in a very friendly way, just goes, hey guys, come on, you know, he just kind of shoved, but he is, he is hardcore pushing people out of the way, but he's being kind of a bear about it. Like, come on guys, you know, come on. And everyone's like, what the fuck? And the guy just shoved aside. I'll just get him to take position behind. Yeah, I'll just let him pick for me. Okay, yeah, he basically makes the path. And as he's doing it, he's talking to you. He's like, yeah, no, the arm feels great. Hey, I saw our uh, friend on the news. Holy shit, man. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Right, right, right. Holy shit, you guys played me. I had no idea. I saw our jump, man. I saw that jump. And you guys get to the front. Um, you are now confronted with the irritating, uh, <laughs> the very irritating obstacle of the fall off, then the drop, the drop off the platform, then the mag rail, and then the platform on the other side. Um, Jonathan goes, "Are you trying to get to the other side?" Yeah. You cool with me lifting you? Um. Okay. Yeah. You want me to the, the whole thing, right? Like the whole. Uh yeah. Uh. I, I can piggyback on you if you uh, grab her. She's very light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Picks it up. Man. Yep. You. You just kind of, and he carries you across. Miracle of modern engineering. Listen, I told all my friends about your shop. It was a hell of a job you did. Thank you so much for my arm. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad uh, the, the antibiotics worked. It did. Yeah, no, I haven't had any troubles with it. Good. I'm really glad. It cleared the can infection right up around the shoulder. It was amazing. Good, good. You took the whole course, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to take the whole course. Good. I Thank had to you. hide it. I didn't want anybody to see where I got that medicine from. But hey, you know what? 
With uh, Measure Z passed, maybe it's not going to be such a problem to get antibiotics anymore. I hope so. Me too. Hey, I'm going to come by the shop. I'll, I'll bring you some uh, muffins. My my mother makes the best muffins. Oh, oh, oh uh, what kind of muffins? <laughs> oh, the blueberry. Best oh, muffins. Oh, I like those. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll bring you by. And uh, oh, I'll bring some for uh, that person that neither one of us really know. <laughs> I, I bet she would like blueberry too. Um, Leave a message at the shop first. Uh, I might... I'm only part-time, I'm not always around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sets your chair down, and he just turns around. <laughs> yep, I'll slide in. <laughs> he's done. And he's like, yeah, be safe. Thank you. And uh, you see, yeah. you see emerging from the crowd and this whole happening, oh. and it's you're like, who the hell? And then you notice him. Is that Jonathan? Jonathan's setting, the setting the chair down, and then yeah. Lacey just letting go of his neck and flop, you know, just ah. landing perfectly down into the chair, and then he just jumps back over the track. <laughs> As you see, the train is stopped now because the mags have turned off. Um, she just leans down. Uh, you, you slap, just goes, okay, they're cleared. Turn it back on. And so when the mag rail reactivates, by the way, when it activates, you get a slight push on your chair as soon as the, the just in the aura of magnetism, it's just enough that you can feel physically the mag yeah. rail activate. There are some um, magnetic components, although the main frame is... It would be... The primary frame is itself not yeah, yeah. because it's titanium. It, it would be problematic if it was magnetic. <laughs> so as you move away from the platform um, and move up to where they are, uh, she turns and looks back at you and goes, all right, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my board. Sure. What's, uh, what's your wager? Whew. How much you got in the pot tonight? What are you doing? How much I got in the pot tonight? Uh huh. The races? 58,000. <laughs> All right, hang on. No. Let me go confer with my team. <clears throat> I need you to hug me or slap me. Do something. I'm really kind of okay. I'm okay. This one's better. Thank you. What do Train we do? comes racing by you guys. <laughs> oh, we don't have $58,000? Um, no, I, I, is that how this works? That's a nice shield. Thanks. Turn it off. <laughs> We're having a conversation. Do you mind? <laughs> Throw your shield into the pot. And we gotta. We gotta race. We don't have fifty-eight thousand. Mm -hmm. Is that a? Uh, is that a digital? They're not even listening to me. You can. <laughs> hey. Slap. You guys need a sec. You're a superhero. <laughs> And give me a few minutes with that board. Okay. Hi, welcome back. Hey. Yeah, so the shield and the thing you got on the side of your face that turns on an image. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Oh. Don't feel cool enough as you are? Hey, we could always be better, right? I mean, it's broken. Are you okay with that? She goes, I'm broken. No? Well, don't give me that. I'm not talking about my body. I'm talking about me. I want that thing. Fine. Deal. You're in the, you're in the pot. Uh, where the hell's Luca? <laughs> Easiest damn thing I've ever done. <laughs> In my board. What the hell is going on? You see somebody go. Slap is gonna race! And you hear the crowd lose it. Slap! 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 All of, all of the racing. See if you can use that, like, strategically. Watch your body language and stuff. You're good at that. Yeah. I want to do that. Um, okay. Um, I think there's a understanding a, or something. Yeah, this you is, have do you a, have a perception? For it. Yeah. Do you have an ability? You can read her? I do. <laughs> Somebody in the crowd's like, Slap's going to race some person I've never heard of. She's mm -hmm. definitely going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to fight? <laughs> um, that's kind of... Yeah, oh, understanding. This is a slap fight? <laughs> yeah. Fight. Slap fight. <laughs> 
You hear that, Cliff? That's the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to be watching. I, I imagine I'll watch her and also the TV if they're doing any like highlight reels. Oh, I've good also call. Study, I've also watched this race hundreds oh, of times. Oh, we've yeah. had to so, watch it so many times. Like so many times. Mm. Why are we doing oh. uh, So, okay. yeah, I'm spending two in, uh, intellect points. To uh, gain understanding of general form of mag boarding. Uh, <laughs> Go through my edge. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look I'm at a her. pro at Super mag boarding She's already. a pro at mag boarding already. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I'm saying to the crowd. I'm pro. As, pro as, already. Like so Lacey pro. sitting down on the pilot seat for the first time and going, oh, yeah, I can fly. You're like, it's just oh, standing I, on got, board, right? I got this. Stand on board and lean forward. <laughs> so and don't crash. They are indeed showing highlights of her matches. And yeah. Um, like she doesn't have a heavy built frame. I mean, even with the cybernetics attached to her. No, no. Um, you see her when she, before she had the cybernetics. Um, she's. She, I, I'm saying that she's she doesn't look like she's heavy built, mm -hmm. but the violence that she is enacting on the fellow mag boarders on that on that footage is impressive. Yeah. Um, is she's, this a sprint race or a long race? It's a sprint race. Okay. It's gonna have to be because That's actually an advantage. To you, uh, Luma. Yeah. Uh, because if she's low mass, uh, that means it'll. No, wait, other way around. Ah, I'm sorry. I'll keep studying. Uh, <laughs> no, this is good. Lacey, Inertia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you see, the, the images, uh, the images on the screen. She is quite the mag border. Um, and you're seeing a lot of her, yeah. her best moments. And you're seeing her crash. She should be dead. Yep. You see her go right off the track and into the wall of a tunnel. Um. Ooh, and, yeah. and, and and she leaves some of herself on the wall. Ooh. Like she should be dead. Um, okay. And then you hear the, when that footage airs, you see people roaring. Um, and she just raises her cybernetic arm and she's like, uh, they they bring out her board. It looks like a pretty high tech mag board. It's got scrapes and burn marks all over it. Um, other than that, it just looks like a big piece of metal. But you see her slide into uh, a new pair of boots that she puts on the board and she just <laughs> activates <laughs> and she magnetizes to the slap, boots. And slap, she. Slap. <laughs> slap. We're the crowd. Slap. Rude. <laughs> slap. Um, she moves over and gets in position. <laughs> About the same time you see people okay. coming back and a lot of the racers coming back. Um, they're all keeping a space from each other. You see a few of them shoving each other, but you see. Um, Laserhawk jogging back and then kind of just kind of stops for a second. He's like, you can see he's kind of exhausted. And then uh, he pulls open his helmet and is like, Board. Now. Oh, board now. shit. Now. Board now. Come here. Uh, uh, he walk walks up over. to him. Okay, you walk up to yeah. him. He's, he's like, Grab him by the collar and I go, Do you have any pointers for me, kid? I grab the board. You pull the board out. He goes, oh, uh, hey, Lacey, I was holding that. Um, Later. Later. Pointers, now. Pointers? Yeah, I have to race now to make sure that you're not racing in the rain, which you will never do ever again, and also guess just wait. What do pointers. you mean you're racing for me? I'm the best damn mag boarder in the city. You're racing slap? <laughs> Luma, I didn't say it was slap. a good idea, but neither are you Luma, doing this. Him. No, you can't race slap. She'll kill you. She will kill you. What do you mean she'll kill me? Like she'll push me? Does she cheat? She, there's no cheating in Magboard. It's whoever comes in first. Yeah. <laughs> and I go back to repairing. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> and back. Oh, no. I'm going to be working on that board. Why? Really should have paid attention more during those 100 matches you I was can't, watching. You can't, you can't, you can't race her. It's too late. So you better start telling me how to win. Go faster than her and don't let her get near you. You're not a good teacher. We're on a track. That's how everyone has ever raced against her. Don't let her get near you. She'll kill you. So just go faster. Yeah. When? Is it a sprint race or a long race? Sprint. Mm -hmm. Luma, you can't do this. Brought to you by No, 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 no. I'll race you. He turns around and says, No. Laser Hawk will race you and you hear people start chanting. Hand yeah. Laser Hawk. Yeah. 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 Um, you see her go, sorry kid, the chick wants to race me. And she's got enough attitude that I just know, I can predict how good it's gonna feel to watch her splat. You mean take your title? I will. Help me. My title's splat. Help me. Help me. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah, splat. splat. 
Help me. Everybody knows it's splat. <laughs> splat. Um, splat. Uh, splat. 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 All right, so <laughs> you move over to the to the thing. Yeah. Lacey, it just takes a few modifications. Um, this thing has been mildly damaged from the stop yep. that he just reached. Yep. Quick repair. Yep. Um, this circuitry on board is all set up. What's I up? want to oh tune God. it because anything that requires a maglev would be very dependent on the mass of the rider. And so I can tune it to Luma's mass and thereby optimize it. Yeah. I mean, mag boards need that, so yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and just basically, like, I, I worked on this with Hawk when I was me, and now I can work on it as, like, me. Hawk raced a lot on this board. He didn't get a chance to race on it before you modified it. But now you're watching Luma slide her feet into the foot grips. And I'm um, going to use coaxing power as well. Okay. Mm. Luma, you slide into the foot grips. You actually yeah. see the outline. Um, they weren't big enough for Lucas' feet, but you yeah. see the outline of where feet go, yeah. and they are, they are measured out. So you actually are stepping into Hawk's footsteps as you yeah. slide onto the board. Um, I expand my feet to fit them. <laughs> 11 and a half. <laughs> That's my shoes. Big feet. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, she raises Luca, her arms and give me a kiss right now. the crowd. Luca goes, he grips you in a death, and he says, you can't do this. Have, She's going to kill you. I have to, kid. You don't have to do this. Trust Hush. me. I've seen a lot worse in the last month. Um, he gets pulled away by one of the people, one of, one of the, uh, one of the rally members immediately just grabs him because you got to step away, man. got to step away. Train's activating. You see, you, you hear it going. You're super. You can do anything. You're up, going to win this. I'm is, super happy. Does Luma have a name up on the board, and what is that name? Uh, it just says Racer. <sighs> Mag, you want it? It just says Mag Border. It would say Mag Border 1. <laughs> it's like a bad video game where yeah. it's just like you didn't enter your name, so it just pops up. Um, okay. Huh. Uh, um. It says Kitty Hawk. Okay. Oh. And as that happens, uh, <laughs> I, I press the button on the, the suit that Lacey made me. Um, and I just sort of uh, like posture to the crowd, press the button, and my suit uh, or my, my clothes turn into a slick skin tight so that she can't grab pieces of me okay. very easily. Very slick bodysuit in dazzle camouflage um, <laughs> with a little cat ears. Okay. Oh. <laughs> one guy the in the crowd's like, Kitty Hawk! Uh, one yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the magnetism activates, and you see one guy just get over there, and he raises his hand up, and he's like, get ready! And she just glances at you, and she looks ahead. Um, Luca grips you, Lacey, grips your arm, and goes, we gotta stop her. But he's not actually doing anything. He's just kind of like, it's like conscious thought slipping out of his lips. And he's like, we gotta stop her, Lacey. Um, uh, she's doing this and she's amazing. And she's doing this and she's, she's doing this and I'm scared. And right when you say that, you hear the distant wail of the train as it's coming down the tracks and you hear the guy shout, die! And they both go, Doom. <laughs> Gaining speed. I make my body as thin and as forward as possible. You kind of conform a little bit. It's almost like an Anton trick. You basically take a, the form <laughs> of somebody a little bit more slight than you. Yeah. Not really pulling I sort of upon any reference. Thin a little yeah. and thin a little and just aerodynamic. Yeah. yeah. Um, leaning forward, you see she takes off like a bullet. She just sure. races right out in front of you. Um, for all the weight that she's bringing down to this board, that cybernetic leg is letting her push where her foot probably shouldn't mm. keep being able to make contact with the ground, and she <laughs> starts to race, getting a lot of distance on you. Mm. We are going to have a race now. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's yeah. an okay. Oh, an God. All right. I, I put in every single buff I could put in. <laughs> so. Hey. Mm. Here are the rules of this race. Yes. For every round that passes as this race is going, is going to be three more points of damage that you'll take if you go down. Okay. Ooh. Um, Ooh. So right now, at the speed you're traveling on the mag board, if you were to fall off, you'll take three points to your might. 
Next round, it'll be six. If you continue to accelerate, it'll go up. There will be a total of- How many rounds? 10 rounds. Oh God. 10 rounds, or if somebody falls. You're okay. okay. You'll be okay. I know. Can my- Except if you have to spend things. We've already established that my sleeping cap has a psychic connection to Luma and Lacey, right? So I can use my enable others to <laughs> psychically uh, send her. No, Bonnie's is like, that how it works? Give me the rules. <laughs> can, I, get the other side of can, myself, can I encourage myself and give myself compliments? <laughs> give yourself a pep talk. <laughs> I feel good. I feel great. I feel, I feel wonderful. wonderful. I, I feel good. Was... I feel great. I feel wonderful. You're good enough. You're strong enough. And don't get it. People like you. Baby, don't baby die. steps onto the mag board. Um, okay. Um, so, we are now in a race. Uh, yep, I'll do what I can. This is a speed difficulty check. And it's, okay. gonna be, and it's gonna be athletics or acrobatics if you have them. There we go. I do! Yeah, you have uh, two stacks of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, will movement go into I've, this as well? I have movement and acrobatics. Yes, movement will totally go All into right. this. Cool. If you have a special, so you can only use one What's of those. What's the difficulty? Though, so. Okay. So you can only use well, one of those. You can use one of those and any specializations that come with it. Okay. Okay. So then that'll be two. And then... Did you say what the difficulty is? Difficulty is seven. Seven! <laughs> <laughs> to stand on a board That's and lean action. forward. To stand on a board, lean forward, gain speed, and not be killed by a very experienced and violent mag border. Um, so traditionally, coaxing power uh, gets an object to operate at one level higher because we're not really doing it with that. Uh, mm -hmm. Can it act as, oops, act as an asset instead? To lower the difficulty by one. Yeah. Um, yes, I think so. I think that, that actually makes sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'll let that function as an asset. Okay. So, so that's three <clears throat> plus your understanding. So, one. yep. So, six. Lacey, you do have the option Five. of putting your eyes in the drone to follow if you want. And then yeah. four uh, for understanding. What yeah. what 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 is what was the asset you said I got from the tweaking? Uh, more power. More power. Mm. More yeah. power. <laughs> Does that count? Uh, yes. Okay. So then it's down to three. Yes. I think that is where we go before effort. Okay. Okay. I know. Then I will effort. Is this? Oh God! For ten rounds. For ten. We don't. We're going to need a bigger effort. Each round, We're by the way. We're going to need a bigger effort. <laughs> Each round in this chase is going to be about three seconds. Sure, 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 sure. It's um, a pretty quick race. It's is literally this a sprint. This. Yeah, and there's no edge there. No. We're going to run out real quick. I'm going to. Mm. That I'll save that. Ooh. Yeah. Because be good. it's only one. Yep. <sighs> really wish this was a smart task. Um, um, is your, uh, is your, uh, transformation helping at all? Like, actually being aerodynamic? Oh, yeah, does, is, is Could that, that actually count as an asset? I know. Or is that flavor? You tell me. It's more flavor. More flavor! Yeah. Great! <laughs> oh, my God. This is brutal. <laughs> this is really brutal. You're gonna... All right! I, uh, I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> my sleeping cat tingles. Then some no. effort. Okay. Mm. Just keep in mind, Luma. Yep. There's two rules to mag race, yes. to mag boarding. Oh, I know. If you cross the finish line, you win. If your it, opponent if goes down, you win. That is the other If I kill oh. the other person. Mm. Yes. Yeah. If you it's kill them. On. It's If you kill them, yes. Well, so knock her off at the beginning. Oh, then she won't die. Oh, God. So, yeah, but she's, <laughs> but she's, got, she's a robot. She's real strong. She's real strong. And I'm a dodgy boy, not, not a... Not a tank, especially You're with brilliant. Brilliant. the thing. What? What did I do? Oh! <laughs> what did you? <laughs> Nothing. You're oh. great. You're great. Okay. Oh. Oh. Tim is like, I'm oh. yeah. Yeah. she's a robot. She's a robot. She's made of. <laughs> she's a that is fucking exactly robot. What literally just happened. <laughs> I finally figured out how I get to participate in this it, activity. It, it, you guys. it took me a minute, but I also <laughs> then <laughs> realized. Yeah, yeah, you're all the way. Okay, I always thought that that moment in movies and TV. You're a genius. What did I do? It was cliched. It literally just happened. Literally just happened. <laughs> I literally like, watched huh? the Grinch yeah. turn to the camera yeah. and do the smile. <laughs> and Lacey's heart huh? for three yeah. sizes. It'll be down to twelve. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. To two. Take the path in the cyberpunk world. Down to two. All right. Stally. All powerful. Stally, stally. Six are better. Which one am I using? Oh gosh. I'm using Okie dokie. 
And in case anybody wants to know, at Blue Dolphin Base, that same 30 yes. seconds, we're that just having... That was what I was thinking. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm drinking yeah. coffee. Uneventful. Play like, yeah. Cut back to... Yeah. T eating tacos. Oh, no. Yeah. Don't go there. Yeah. Oh, 30 well. seconds. Uh, no, I got a nine. I, I succeeded. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> the first round, yeah. the crowd is thrilled by the fact that you close half the distance with her immediately. Okay. Um, Coming for She you. takes off and is, is a good, like, three actions in front of you from the sheer Ooh. speed that she launches herself forward. Now, if she's not gaining, you're, you're, let me put it this way, you're gaining on her, yeah. so she's not pulling away, sure. because you are closing that gap very quickly with a very strong start. Yeah. So we're on to round two. Okay. Which is another roll. Uh, are you gonna jump in on this, Lacey? Yes. <laughs> All right, um, so let's do Luma's action, and then we'll do you. All right. Um, I mean, it's basically same these. Same every thing. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Same no, role. I know. So, well, the nice but thing I is that to... that means that it's the same thing every time, and that's statistically doable. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. Ooh, Ooh, that's a you, no, not two extra points, of, two extra nice. points of damage. <laughs> Quick, kick her. Yeah, if, <laughs> if Luma was throwing down, you Papa. are right behind her now, and you can see her glance back over her shoulder, not masking her shock at seeing you gain on her that quick. Um, what are you doing, Lacey? Um, let's see. So she's kicking with her foot and getting, I, if I listen, what has been going going on in her cybernetic business? She has some pretty enhanced, uh, I, would, I would say you, you haven't really been scanning her per se, but you've just been like hearing. Yeah. I would say your initial instinct is that whatever she, whatever hardware and software she's got built into her, it's not street stuff. She's actually got some pretty high level stuff that probably corporates. Right. She would have had to gone through. Um, but um, it's advanced. It's not anything like, you know, you're going to see on the street. What about the board? Mm. The board's the same. She's got an advanced board. Mm. It can, it's extremely durable. It can go incredibly fast. And it looks like it's specialized in stops. All right. Um, I want. Uh, does she have any internal gyroscopics? Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna screw with those. I'm gonna use distant activation on this. Okay, so what that's gonna do is essentially it's gonna activate the joints in her legs and she's going to stiffen when she's trying to keep a, a bent posture. Right, she doesn't get extra extra fancy balance. That's correct. You're basically, you're screwing with her center of balance. Right as you guys are about to come up on the first uh, turn. And right is about if she wants to make a move, that'll alter her center of mass relative to you, which requires balance. Um, so uh, this turn, <laughs> <coughs> so yep. so you are now you are now entering the dangerous part of mag boarding, which is your action is spent catching up to her, and her action is yep. going to be hitting you <laughs> or trying to hit you. Yep, <laughs> trying to hit. Trying me. to hit you, and she's got a leg that's not working no, for her. No, it's in the pot. Is it actually physically oh, is in the it, pot? Did they physically it take it from me? Is it on, just wagered? Yeah. She oh no, it's just wagered. You still have it. Yeah. Oh thank God. Good. Oh yeah, you still I have it. I thought I had to take it off. And no, you get the speed defense. No, no, no. You get that fat stack of defense. So, um, so, so just so you know, right about this point, you're hitting 60 kilometers an hour. Yep. That's and you're watching. I mean, you're eh, you're I hitting. I just crashed. Oh, I went so fast <laughs> in a shuttle <laughs> without a windshield. Sure. Bring the wind. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So I need you to make a roll. Just make the same roll. Right. Difficulty is seven, and then it drops. However, this is a speed defense roll. No, not yet. This is a chase roll. Yeah. And then, so then it's going to be a speed defense roll. Good. All right. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to, while I'm catching up and I know that I'm about to be within like swinging range, mm -hmm. I uh, reach into my pocket and just uh, really quickly hit myself in the hip with uh, my level four combat enhancer so that I get free effort. <laughs> and I'm back down to two. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> your nerves light up. And the thing is, Luma, is that your body, ever since you got this Callisto 6 energy source going, yeah. your body has been responsive that, uh, on a level that goes past thought. You move quicker than you can think. And right now, imagine that kind of juiced up on caffeine. And you just, <clears throat> you kind of feel the anxiety actually melt away as you get this sort of jaw clenching, just like, <clears throat> like this urge to win. Yeah. Um, make your roll. Oh! Made it. <laughs> Bless that 
combat enhancer. You pull up right as you enter range. She pivots and goes, what the f And makes an awkward swing. Go ahead and make a defense roll. The difficulty is only six. Okay. No, five. Sorry, five is gonna drop two. Okay, five. So, yep. so you have right. four levels of speed defense. I do. So yeah. your difficulty is uh, two from your stack. You need to roll a three shield. or better, rather. Or one from your shield and one from trained without an armor. Okay. Uh, three or better, you got this. What are you feeling? Okay, tough, guys. 12. <laughs> um, swings wide. Completely off balance. You see her wobble a little bit on the board as she screams ah! and swings this arm right where your head used to be. And you just kind of easily it moves right past you. Back at the platform, you hear everyone just roar as violence has finally begun. And you hear you hear your brother go, come on, Luma, come on, Luma. Um, new action, yep. you have two options. Yes. Um, <clears throat> this is gonna be an initiative roll now. Okay. And if you succeed at the initiative, you will have the option of either attacking or pulling ahead of her. Okay. So, uh, difficulty is seven. You must roll a 21. Um, well, I'm... Two down, that's all we got. Yeah. Just this two? Yeah. Just the two. Yep. All right. Okay. We're looking for a so 15 or better. Five. I need a 15 or better. You can do it. Okay. Keep in mind, she's not going to have a very oh, easy time uh, hitting you. We have but a pile of XP waiting to throw at you. The understanding. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. Um, Strictly speaking, understanding uh, works on the next task, but it's also oh. given her edge something she can spam freely. Well, this is combat. Okay. So if this was a mag boarding roll, then I think that would come into play. But so not it, it really, I would say if you decide that you want to pull ahead of her, yeah. then I would let that ask okay, happen. Okay, I do. Okay, mm. so then you have to make this initiative check first. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that, that's my But when you're in action, if you're not going to hit her or knock her down, Got and it. if you want to pull ahead of her, <laughs> no, I'm then we grabbing mine too. So 15 or better. So still 15 got, or better. We got, got some SP. Kitty Hawk. <laughs> We're ready to throw it at you. Back when Luma's racing. Make your roll. We're going to make it rain, y'all. 15. <laughs> You know, tantruming. I just stay low and glide in front of her and just flip her off from behind. <laughs> Slow motion. You can't hit me if you can't catch me. Constantine style, just kind of looking over your shoulder with the middle finger coming up. <laughs> Go ahead and make your mag board check. Now, this oh. is where the asset will come into play, and it only works once, is that correct? Uh, then it already has. It oh, already okay. has. She can't oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, like side eye Luigi is what I'm picturing. Oh, That's gosh. Okay. From Mario Kart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Like the middle finger, not aerodynamic, but totally worth it. A difficulty seven human being is literally on like top this. of the echelon of what a human can accomplish. This is one of the greatest mag so that ever lived. And Luma's about to just blast past her. It's a beautiful bard. Luca is shitting himself right now. <laughs> yeah, Luca has gone, come on, come on, Luma. 13. Ah! Yeah, game. Um, so yeah, so that drop, you dropped the difficulty to what? It was seven and you dropped it down to? I dropped it down to two. Oh. Yep. Okay. Um, I you mean, pull I'm ahead burning a lot of effort. Yeah, the, no, we're, we're, you, you, There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, if, if, if you can imagine the reactions in the crowd of just, no! Yeah. Like people like <laughs> losing their minds as Luma gains, accelerates, ducks, two attacks, sweeps right past her and, get, and just takes off in front of her. And Luca is grabbing your arm and just shaking you in your chair, just going, oh my God, lady! Please stop, oh my please God! Please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's funny. How many rounds is that? <laughs> um, you kind of get back into the swing. Um, that's four. This is round, let's that see, one, four. two. Yeah. That was three, so this yeah. would be round four. Yeah. Oh, um, she is right against, right on, the, right on your tail. So make a difficulty. Um, this is another uh, mag board check. Yep. <clears throat> um, she is, I'm going to pop another GM intrusion. Unless you want to buy it off. I will buy it Do off. Do I get to know what you're doing first? I can't it has to be her. Oh. Do I get to know what you're doing first? What's that? Do I get to know what the intrusion is before I decide to buy it or not? No. Oh. Well. <laughs> the GM wants to jump in the narrative and mess with you. How much, um, how much XP? Like I say, uh, usually. Yeah, no, I want to win. <laughs> I Usually I love failure. Yeah. Except for Lim Arsini's mag boarding for her, for the Orsini family honor. <laughs> yeah, because we're already pretty far in. One, like, 
failure of damage yeah. would annihilate me right now. Okay. Don't I'm annihilate really it. low. I am denied my intrusion, no. and you see her activate what looks like a small booster yeah. on the back of her mag board, and she's wobbling. She can't actually use it to the full effect as her leg is not functioning the way it's supposed <laughs> to. And you can <laughs> hear a very colorful stream of vicious Disgusting yeah. swears coming out As of her mouth. As this colorful stream pulls in front. <laughs> um, yeah, make your make your magboard roll for okay. this. Okay. Is it this is five? Wrong five. Yeah, this is. If round you five. get more than if if you succeed on this and then get two more ahead of her, there's no way she can catch you. Because Luma, because after that it just becomes a magboard roll, and the difficulty is going to drop from competing against her from seven, and it's going to drop right. down to a standing okay. roll. Um, okay, spending another. Effort, should keep it down to two. Yep. Hey, if I get another chance at Yeah, yeah. 10. Yeah, there you go. There it is. You see, Luma is pulling farther and farther ahead. Um, <laughs> next round, um, she reaches down and starts punching the back of her leg, mm. and it causes the, the cybernetic to bend a little bit, and she as she's doing this, you see her pull out what looks like a metal rod, probably some kind of weapon? Sure. That maybe she uses in combat, and she literally jams this down into her joint. Ooh. And it causes the leg to lock. It's a dangerous move. It means she's not gonna be able to unlock that leg unless she dislodges it. But you see it slide between the plates of the cybernetics, and she propels herself forward. Um, so go ahead and make your roll. The difficulty is seven. She's still on your tail. And, um, She's basically still going to be inhibited by you interfering. It's just the inhi the inhibition is now changed from a balancing issue to point of no return issue. If she gets knocked off her board, she's not going to be able to brace. She's not going to be able to slow down properly. She I want to stay very in tune with her board. Okay. Especially because I have interfered with balance. Yeah. If something starts well, happening. Lacey, I'll tell you now, just from what you're seeing on the, on the image, if... <laughs> She is, with that locked in place, she's not gonna be able to break properly. She's, no, exa that's yeah, yeah. exactly why I'm tuned. Okay. Slap she's, is a jerk, that doesn't mean she should get hurt. Right. No. She, she has essentially, you don't know. she's essentially, oh, in no, order no. to win, she has essentially cut the brakes to the car. Yeah. So she's that's going all in to catch up to Luma. That's uh, um, why I'm here. What's your roll? Oh, I haven't rolled yet. Oh, okay, go ahead and make your roll. Um, Difficulty seven. Mm -hmm. Round six. Can't. can't. No, I can't. Okay. Right. Okay, now it's three. Okay. So now I need a nine or better. better. You got this. No. You ready? No. XP. Uh, we got it. Yeah. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one's coming from Cat. I knew that. Right. No Callisto one. Yeah. None of my dice were hot. I could feel yeah. it. I didn't spend it. Okay. I'm... Nice. Um, and to answer your question that you did pose earlier, Bonnie, yes, the there Callisto is. six are. Connect. Somewhat privy to the moods and the anxieties of each other. So you are. Y'all are feeling an adrenaline like, rush. What's going on? <laughs> this um, coffee is amazing. Is this because I said to myself. <laughs> right, so, uh, those tacos I, I made were bad. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. On the reroll, you make I it. I got yep. exactly. You continue nine. to pull away from her, and you Ugh. now hear her screaming at you. It's nothing. It, there's nothing verbal coming out of her mouth. It's yeah. like a primal scream yeah. in your direction. Um. We're on to the next round. It's the yeah. last round that she has a chance of catching up to you. It's round seven now. Oh, okay. So go ahead and make the roll difficulty seven. Okay. Um, you guys you can do this. I can theoretically do it, actually. You guys have reached about 80 kilometers yeah, an hour now. Um, you wouldn't get minor or major effects, uh, and effort would cost more, but at that point, you can if you want to. And I don't need minor or major effects. Exactly. Okay. And effort would cost more, but you're not going to be using it anymore. You doing? Yeah. We're we're Victory talking about lap. running down the last box. I'm 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 uh, I'm, mac I'm emptying my speed pool right now to burn my. Are you last gonna hit effort. zero? Yeah. Yeah. I'll okay. Zero impaired, impaired, but, but it's, who cares? Because yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we all care. So then that's gonna drop the difficulty to. Back to two. two. Back down to two. All right. So. Got this. Six or better. Twelve. <laughs> All right, yeah. Luma, you are exerting yourself beyond. You're <laughs> pushing yourself, and you hit 80 miles an hour. <laughs> 80 kilometers an hour, as it's yeah. just racing oh, down. The wind is <laughs> roaring in your ears, and you, the distant screams of her, you, the crowd is going out of their minds 
as you break past. How do I break? How do I break? Um, <laughs> Lean back. <clears throat> Step into it. Easy. She can't catch up with you in time, and you pass yeah. through the station where people are waiting and watching you. People reading like data pads for newspapers as they watch you. <laughs> as you race past the finish line. Um, <laughs> you beat her. <laughs> you beat her by. Do I have to do a, a check to lot. break? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Then I will celebrate it in a second. Yep. Okay. So make a break. Um, it is raining. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yes. Oh no. Slick. But it's just a mag boarding roll. Just not versus laps. But yeah. the rain is going to make this a three round action roll. So you're gonna have to okay. roll three times to get this. Okay. To slow down. Okay. Um, Lacey, I'm already telling you, this is gonna wreak havoc on the board. Um, Boards can be repaired. Lumas, Lumas are can. essential. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, difficulty of this is going to be six. Keep in mind you are impaired. Okay, so we should but recalculate because yeah. I'm going to give you this much though. The difficulty will drop by one level for the next every time you succeed. Is it staying at a seven? Because you're slowing right now? down. What's that? Is it still six. at a seven? It's six. Six. You're not racing against her. Right. Now Five. you're trying okay. to slow down. Six. Okay, so two from acrobatics. Yep. Uh, yep. Six. Totally acrobatics. Five, four. Uh, one from coaxing power. Three and three. Instead of slow your roll, uh, it's roll your slow. <laughs> <laughs> is this right. a might? I'm gonna take a uh, yeah. This, this could, yeah. Yeah, you can totally use might. Perfection. Um, you're using your acrobatics to stay balanced while you're basically slamming your foot slamming. down into the back to grind that, that uh, rail. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep, yep, I yep. think that's what we've got. Okay. So down to two? No. No. Down to three, uh, three and then I could and then spend, spend effort. four levels of effort. Oof. What? Is it, isn't it? Plus one per level. Yeah, it would cost four. Yeah. So. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Lumas are essential. I know. Okay. Got your XP right. I, we got. We're um, ready. So now you I'm got this. To two. You totally got this. <laughs> Six or better. What is it? Come on, here, here, <laughs> take it, take it. This Wonder one's hot. coming this from Hops. This one's from me. <laughs> Reroll. Love you. What do you need? A six or better? Yeah. All right, you got this. Just roll it. Just do it. Sixteen. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> um. Sparks erupt in a just like a, just like a spray, a waterfall of these brilliant yellow white sparks. Just as you begin to slide across the mags, um, the board immediately starts heating up underneath your feet um, as you start coming to a stop. Uh, the crowd back at the station has lost it, and you see Kitty Hawk popping up all over the screen, um, and Luca is jumping up and down. And just going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, my sister is such a badass! Uh huh, she's um, really badass! Um, Trying to focus! <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I need you to make the check again. Yep. I'm spending another four points of effort. Yep. Uh, but now the difficulty's gone down. Yeah. It's five instead of six. Oh, that's right. right. It because goes down to five. each time it goes down. Then it's a two. Then it's a two now. Yes. Yeah. I'll still spend the effort. Okay, so you're doing a really hard thing. You are. Right. Three are essential. I guess. So it's okay. a one. Thank you. I need a three or better. Yep. Five. <laughs> yes. Good work on that spend. <laughs> Starting to get a little fatigued in the leg. Screeching in the metal, like filling your ears. You can't hear or really perceive anything else, but you're starting to feel yourself slow down. Yes, your legs are starting to ache, and you feel the heat emanating from the bottom of the board. Make another roll. Last ah, roll. Last roll to come to a stop. This. Now, it's, a now it's down to a one, right? Yeah. Now yeah. it should be down to one without effort. One yeah. without effort. You got this. You have anything either. Oh gosh. Wait. Yeah. Oh, yep, that, yep, yep, that yep, thing yep, had yep. energy yep. radiating. <laughs> I, can I can feel it. We can feel it from underwater. The heat. Got it. Yes. Come to a stop. Uh, roll initiative. <laughs> Why? What's wild? Okay. Because of the she's she didn't to slow in. down. Oh. Yeah. And she's coming at you. Yes, About she is. A fight. Oh um, no. Okay. What's the difficulty? Uh, the difficulty. This is going to count not as a full surprise, but the difficulty is going to jump by two. So. What the? What? Wait. Yeah. So seven. So it's a nine check right nine now. Nine check. So you have to roll a 27? <laughs> Do it! Oh, so I'm yeah, gonna yeah. run over. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not. Um, so you get four this is, down from speed to yeah. Oh, so, so it's initiative? So, yes. Initiative. Oh, initiative. Lose. That's the I thing. lose. So keep, yeah. You just lose. Um, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna lose. So okay. instead of 
rolling initiative, I know I'm gonna get hit. I can hear her behind me. You know she's gonna try to hit you. Yeah, she's gonna try to hit you. <laughs> right. I mean in the sense that like, that's her intention. She's not I getting a bonus her. on the attack. This right. is an sure. initiative check. Nice, okay. Instead of, um, instead of rolling, can I turn my, my shield on and just stand there? Yes. Because I can't get out of the way. Take that. Mm. You, you could. I can? Yeah. If, if you, I win initiative. If you win initiative, Which yeah. I oh, can. that's a good point. Yeah. yeah so I can't get check. out of the way. Right. I, that's and you want to use your shield as an asset, so you want to just, okay. Yeah. I, um, make a roll. Okay. Um, the difficulty of this is going to be... It's going to be seven. Okay. Yep. I'm, gonna make, I'm not going to give you bonus. Down two, three. I don't have speed. Shite. Yeah. But, nope. That's what we got. We yeah. got three. Okay, three. So, uh, what, so what is it? Uh, the difficulty was seven. Which roll is this? The initiative? This is a, this is a defense roll. This is a defense roll. Yeah. Yeah. Difficulty yeah. seven, that's a okay. 21. Okay, difficulty seven. I have two in speed defense. So <laughs> five. Five. I also have the shield up as an asset, so it's down to four. four. Um, I also am trained without armor for speed defense, so that was a <laughs> three. three. That's where we are. Um, and I nine think I'm better. stuck at three. Yep. We okay. got you. So yep. nine, nine Roll a nine with that hot dice. Someone we're kind with understanding. Find the hot one. No. No. Mm. No. Mm. You don't want to use Lacey's dice for speed defense. Wait. <laughs> Let's just leave that alone. Let me check the heat one more time. Yep. What's speaking to you? Okay, that one. Again. Ooh, yep. that one again. Nine or better. Now! Now! Right what is now! It? Right what is now! It? Natural what 20. is it? It's a one, isn't it? I don't, I can't. It's, a, it's a one? No, I, if it's a nat one, I can't, right? I, no, you can re-roll. You can re-roll it. Re-roll it. Okay. Oh, come on, automatically. Oh, no, 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 I got no, it. Are you sure? It is if it is stands. unless it's a re-roll. This one's from Anne. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Re-roll. <laughs> if, it stands as a, if it stands at a one. You have to know if I can use my own. No, own. I haven't used any of this game. Re-roll. Yeah, we're we're just watching. We're this the, is what we're here yeah. for. Not her hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use your dice, Eric. So whatever happens is your fault. Huh? It always is. Black, back at Blue Dolphin way. base, Anton's just like, mm, do that, Luma. Mm, no. Do that again. Is this a nine or better? Yep. Ten! Oh! Um, <gasps> you all watch. You hear the screaming behind you. You turn. Instinctively, the shield just <laughs> activates. You lean back and lift it up and kind of maneuver to the side. And you all watch. Slap get clotheslined at 80 miles oh, an hour. Oh, oh no. Um, your arm bats away. You're just not strong enough to stop that kind of impact. And you watch your shield go crack and then begin to immediately repair itself as it's a force field like projection. And she gets clotheslined, her head snaps back and her body, she just flips end over end over end slams into the track and sparks fly against her cybernetics as she rolls about 60 feet. I run after her. And you hear everyone just go, oh, and start cheering and roaring yeah. in approval as yeah. she takes Lula, a brutal are you okay? hit. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't think... Uh, <sighs> I, 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 I'm, I can't she, anymore. There's just... smoke coming up from her cybernetics. You run over to her and she's laying on the ground with her arms laid out around her. And... Um, the magnetic, uh, the tracks, it looks like they've actually kind of, she's not fully magnetized against it, the cybernetics don't work no. that way, but you do see that she's kind of tangled up in one of the tracks that have split from the sheer impact of her, oh. of her colliding with it. It looks like she's actually slid underneath one of the bracers that keeps the tracks stapled down to the, to the platform itself. And um, is a train the, coming? The, the train is definitely coming. That's how you guys are magnetized. Mm -hmm. um, however, she's not wedged underneath it. It's just what okay. stopped her from sliding any further. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that. It's just, it, this is to illustrate the force of the impact. Um, so when you move over to her, it's literally just kind of scooting her and she pops right out of it. Okay. Um, but as you move over to her, you can yeah. hear the train in the distance and she's going. I'm just uh, dragging her off the tracks. She moves it's fucking gently, heavy, but yes. you, pull her, you pull her off the tracks. Um, as you pull her off the tracks, you notice Hawk's board is still on the tracks as the train's coming. Well, obviously, I'm not gonna let someone die. Make a, yeah. Yep. So, well, no, can you, I do both? Yes, you can do both. Okay. You've got one round. You have to jump the train if you wanna save the board. You're gonna have Wait, to. sorry? You're gonna have to jump in front, grab the board, or jump away from the train, or jump across the tracks and grab the board 
if you want to save the board. She's already off the track. She's, She's pulled safe. off the track. Yes. Okay. You have one shot. I got one shot. What's the difficulty? Oncoming train. You've got uh, a bit of a reverage. I'm gonna set the difficulty at six. Quick six. question though, for this uh, for this thing, uh, if Luma fails, will she get hit by a train? Yes. 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 That's what I'm saying. If it's worth, like you know, I'm figuring it out. Okay. So. It's a moment for Luma. Wait, see, can she can be decide. Six. Down to four. Not not Luma. We, Luma's I'm can't the board. be replaced. Lumas are essential. I know, I said Lacey can fix it, the board, so the board. What's that? We have five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, so this is a movement check that you got? A, it's, it's a movement a, check, it's a and movement I'll let acrobatics check. stand. Okay, so then that's fine. It's still that. Yeah, it's, that, that's what you got, yeah. It's a 12 or a better. Do a little super glue, you'll be fine. Oh, no. It's a 50-50 roll. What Lacey would say, that's no. all, I'm done. Cause hey, Lacey we got XP know. for days over How much here. more XP do you got over there? You got a few. We got, I got, we got, we got some. All right. We're ready to, we're ready to make it rain over there. Save the ball. It's already raining. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. I'm really glad um, she showed life signs. No, poor slaps. We all hold one right yeah, now. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're so ready to save, well, to throw it at you. Um, and I don't have effort. No. At all. Nope. Okay. Because you're a champion. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's just that moment where you're just looking at the board, looking at the train, and then Lacey's going to kill me. <gasps> yes, they are. She lunges for it. Luma, what are you doing? The train's coming! I don't want to lose anything else. XP, I'm using it. Oh, we got it, we got you. Okay. All right, Hops. boom, that's for me. Hops. XP, me. Well, that's, All right. That <laughs> one's Amy. from <laughs> Cass. Cass, we got it. Yep. Oh, XP, I'm okay, sending that my own. One's Let me from send me. my own. Nope, that one was for me. <laughs> okay, wait. Let us participate! Can I use one of yours? <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like we're at the kids' Whichever table. Whichever pleases you, I have some more fresh ones. Uh, artisanal dice. Let's go. We got XP to burn, baby. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <sighs> Fucking fuck, fuck. That's the worst. The oh. worst. Because oh. of time constraints, I'm only going to allow one more reroll. One more reroll? But as a compensation, if you yeah. fail, I'm not going to let Luma get hit by a train. Thank you. Yeah. So okay. go ahead and make your roll. You okay. Who, okay, who's XP? Who's XP? I can do she it. She spent her own. I spent oh. my own. Okay. I spent my own. For this last one? Okay. Okay. Maybe that'll be good luck. <laughs> Feel that hate. It's this one. I feel good about it. It was in you all along. No big deal. Use the force. Say fuck. 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 Say fuck. Fuck. Say fuck. 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 Fucking just roll fuck. it. Fucking roll it. You too, Eric. Fuck. 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 You watch the train. Mama! I Mama! step back at you the last second. You barely step away. In time, the rush of the wind as the train collides the board. I'm okay, reroll. <gasps> and then, and it's gone. Oh, and so there's no sign of the board. Mama! And there's just silence of the rain and the thunder rolling in the background. Mama, why did you do that? I didn't want to lose anything else of his. You I'm so sorry. Hey. hey. What? And she sets up and she goes, You were Hawk's girl, weren't you? He talked about you. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter, he's gone. Not from what I saw. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> she just... The only Mess. thing... You stand over her as the rain falls down on the both of you. The clinking sounds of water against the metal and the silence now as the mags shut down. 
and in the quiet, we pull away, and that is where we end tonight's game. Thanks for spending your XP on me, all. Of course. You brought me back from the dead. <laughs> It's the least I could have done. I need to start. Oh, we have to you. bail pretty quick tonight. Okay. Um, fantastic game. Well done, Gina. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice so to, to get to know Luma a little bit more. Um, so real quick, I just want to give a quick shout out and thank you again to our sponsors, Okie Dokie Dice and Monty Cook Games. And don't forget to find Okie Dokie Dice on all the social media platforms at Okie Dokie Dice. And don't forget to go to mymcg.info backslash superpunks for tonight and tomorrow night, it ends Sunday, you get 50% off the Cypher System core book. Um, when Okie Dokie Dice come to North America in March, we're getting all y'all new dice. You're rolling like, but, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> I tried one of each. <laughs> so, More dice. <laughs> um, so that'll do it for us tonight. Thank you again for joining us for another episode of Callisto 6. We will catch you back here next Friday. Uh, at the same time, stay tuned for Vampire, which is coming up next. And until then, everyone, stay whimsical. <laughs>